Oh, Ronnie boy, the ship, the ship was flying. Can I stop, please? That poor person <laughs> forever said the wrong name about him. You keep doing that. I miss something. It will become a running joke every episode. It will yeah, always say his wrong name. Why? It's gonna be a running joke, guys. It's gonna be. Oh my god! <laughs> like the Red Lantern. Ooh! Ouch! <laughs> What's a Red Lantern? Actually, I don't want to know. We'll talk later. <laughs> yeah, he kept calling it. Oh, okay, we're talking the about wrong something. thing, and it's yeah, it's just been an in, in like, joke. The funny thing is, it's actually not that complicated of a name. Well, here's the like Red Lantern. No, I'm talking it's, about it's like your brothel. I'm talking about his character, not that. Thank you. Sure. Don't ask me to do it, though, because I wasn't here. I've been unconscious. Sorry. Apologies. Please continue. Hello? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh. I forgot to unmute myself. <laughs> I forgot Hello to everyone. Um, we fought some bad guys and one of the pilots actually survived. Survived. And his name and is Ronnie. Now we've made a makeshift platform to pull him along on. Yeah. And, and uh, following a weird bird. Yep, a, a uh, white and green uh, convoy. I, I, uh, anyway, welcome to Points of Light. I am Norvinok. We're here to play uh, a uh, Star Wars version of uh, the mean, fifth edition. My mistake! Points of, the Force. Points of Light is your other campaign. Yeah, Points of Light is the main thing. So this is Star Wars fifth edition, The Wound in the Force. Ironically... I feel like Points of Light makes more sense for a Star Wars game than a D&D game. But that's not the point. Uh, it, it, it's perfect for like a Spelljammer game. Yeah, true, true, true. Anyway, working okay, outside. Okay, so what's now? What, what's happening? So, so Nathan. Walking uh, in a desert. Yeah, so, uh, so Ronnie... You um you were uh, you were you were knocked unconscious, so that means you were at zero health points and were and was considered dying until you were stabilized. So go ahead and take uh, you can spend it uh, and you are back to one hit point and go ahead and, uh, and go ahead and since this is part of a short rest, go ahead and roll as many hit dice as you want. Don't worry, everyone. I know I got my legs blown off, but I just need a short nap. <laughs> huh? I guess it's a huge, not 
crash. Yeah, but you... I'm, I'm good, guys. I'm good. Yeah, I'm just referring to specifically uh, uh, Ronnie. You were knocked out uh, pretty good, but you, you eventually woke up to uh, to ash falling on your face on what appears to be a uh, like like a like a like just a made up like improv um uh, 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 what's stretcher? it called uh, st a stretcher. You grow into pain as well. why would they have put me on a stretcher if I was dead. No, no, yeah, we, we, found, you were we were scavenging the ship, and we found you alive. Oh, that is not what we discussed. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> if you'll, if you, I think, I think Connor forgot. So, what are, was. is 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 the one you are the one I saved back when we were on the ship? Yeah, yeah. And before you, uh, and briefly, yeah. in, in your lapse into you consciousness, my... one of the first things you saw is a Lerman healing you, uh, Ronnie. Or you were buying See, I just I I thought we had talked about how like you know they would just be near the ship gathering supplies and then I would just get up and they'd be like this well, shock. You were, you were your, your, your camera froze. Your camera that's froze. That's what we did. Oh, oh shit! Okay. Your camera froze. All Don't... that all that backstory I planned just now doesn't matter. Sorry, I kind of forgot. There Wait, we go. Last week. So say last week didn't wasn't there no game last week? Yeah. Um. Well, the week before, the last time we played, he retconned that you're that one of the pilots of the ship we were on. Yeah, you were one of the pilots, and instead of both the pilots dying, you just fell unconscious and was yes, unstabilized. That was that was the thing. Then the what I thought we had discussed was that yeah, I can't, I can't. due to a character's previous injury, my uh carotid artery is no longer in the same spot so anyone checking his pulse is going to get nothing They're like oh he's dead that, but, that actually yeah, makes the, sense actually I, 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 the I'm, healer the, the healer can also see life forms yeah we, so we got some force users that can so yeah so anyways yeah. i'm also not stalling i mean i kind of am but like uh roll 20 just hasn't loaded my character sheet yet oh, oh wow. so so, oh, uh, so Ronnie, one of these days I need to actually do that. So, Ronnie, I don't know how to do uh, that. So, I just Ronnie, have to describe Adobe what your character one. looks like and the injuries he has sustained from the crash. <laughs> well, you you can go ahead and tell me what injuries I've sustained from the crash, but I mean, for the most part, one I look giant bruise. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got you know, burn I mean, marks. From is, a... is anyone else in the party human? Um, <laughs> my character looks human. Um, as does uh, Rose's character. Um, I mean, neither of us are. We're both near humans. Yeah, we're human-ish. Human-ish. I'm just saying, my character looks like every other human out there. Yeah, she looks like a white-haired human that's kind of tall. Yeah, slender. I'm like do you, do you literally the most basic-looking human that ever basic. Cool. Also, I can no longer hear anybody. Yeah, uh -oh. you froze. Uh -oh. You froze. Again. Yeah, All right, so... there we go. The sounds back. All right, there we go. Yeah, so... so so you so you see a white when when you when you wake up, your injuries uh, just hitting you like a oh uh, like a ner uh, 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 like a like a uh, train not, not like a train like a uh, um like uh, law, uh, a rat um just ramming against you, you you feel like all sort of uh, like 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 electricity burns from the uh, from the destruction of the uh, council. Uh, some, oh, uh, some does he feel like he was just in a crash? Crazy. I know, right? Yeah, so. I know. I I from orbit. A crash from orbit. Yeah. So, definitely. That, the only that... people that were fine were a heavily armored Mandalorian and two Force users. Well, the Force users One of them out... doing backflips to not get damaged. So. You saw the uh, you, you recognize the white-haired woman. You recognize the Mandalorian armor, and you do definitely recognize the uh, the Lerman that was that was uh, that was that was a st that was, uh, that was a stowaway, um, uh, Ronnie. But you do not we recognize. We talked about. But you, but much to your surprise, you did see a, um, uh, you did see what appears to be a an old rusty-looking um B1 battle droid. And a, uh, and a, and a, uh, a, a masculine uh, humanoid in what appears to be scary-looking armor. Like I said, what does the character look like? Very basic. 
pale skin, brown hair, brown eyes. Like, like I can't describe them to you because they're so normal. You say, "Hey, that's a human man." <laughs> it's what comes to mind. Like it's like it's like when you open up you? Baldur's Here, Gate. Yeah. When you open up Baldur's Gate, it's everything that's pre-selected for the human well, male. It's it's like random oh. white dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. it's like oh look, there's a white dude, and the, what you assume a white dude looks like is just what oh, you look, see. Oh look, another broken white boy. That's what we need. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I, I well, sorry, uh, sorry, I was just making a funny reference. Okay. Lego, Lego said that he, um... Do we describe our characters, too, since you're new? It's fine. That he does his medic thing, which max on our hit dice for every roll hit dot, rolling hit dice, so... Mm. You, doing? You, get, you, doing? you get max hit die healing hit Yeah, die. so, you're healed. Oh, it Ooh. still hasn't loaded my character sheet. Okay, well... Do you have an Adobe Acrobat? I put mine in Adobe okay. because I can't figure out how to do that thingy. No, but I've got an Adobe Jester. I don't get it. Like an Acrobat versus a Jester. But they're not even the same thing. No, but they're different performers at like a circus or something. Uh, uh, I don't think a Jester's in a circus. That was more a... Um, Fine, juggler. That makes more sense. Um, would you like me to open your character sheet um, uh, deficit? Sure. That's probably a, a that's a sure far away. So uh, you can go ahead and roll. Um, since you're at basically at one hit point and you're healing up after a short rest, go ahead and use whatever. Uh, so how many uh, hit dice would you like to use to heal up? I have three. I can just like. Give some nice big heals and then just heal my force points by sleeping, right? Uh, yeah, I've got a should, lot of force points left. We should we should still like Seems in case possible. we're jumped, we should minimize. Now, hypothetically, I'm also adding my con modifier to that, but yes. I don't know what it is because your constitution I mean, I, is twelve. Hang on, hang on. Okay. So I've gained twenty. I'm, I'm at no, twenty-eight no, no. points. You don't have to roll. Oh. Uh, Doc did a medic thing, so your hit the the hit dice you roll are max. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm. I'm I need to go up to full anyway. So then, yeah, I will use all three of them. All right. To put me at yeah, yeah twenty-seven hit points. Doc uses medic. I use machine. I fix things. If you're not a, if you're not a machine, I can't fix you. Sorry. So. So yeah, she can use the force to heal droids. Yeah, I'm awesome. Yeah, so each of you look around and find yourself in an ash-covered uh, field. What was once a rich, vast, autumn color, like uh, the grasslands of Lost many years ago, with the color of uh, of uh, of golden autumn, now it's just late to ruin thanks to constant warfare of the Clone Wars. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and the Imperial uh, attacks on this planet. You see the convoy flying ahead, uh, the, the strange con uh, convoy flying ahead of you. I'm still following him, but I go, I think he's awake. Apologies, I didn't actually mean to do that during your monologue. I thought you had finished, and so I was coughing from my character as Ash his is character, falling in my face while I'm waking His character coughs, up. and I'm like, I think he's awake. <laughs> But I just keep on going. You keep on going forward, um, on uh, uh, on the sharp lookout for any for any uh, hostile threats, mainly such uh. such as serial forces or wildlife. Ronnie, you uh, like I said, you wake up with a nasty headache. Oh and, gosh! And everything ache. And, and My everything head hurts ache. so bad. And you buy How many of those food. yellow plagues did I drink? Ugh. None. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shame. You were in a crash. Uh, 
You're lucky to be alive, honestly. Well, in that case, I need a drink. You look around, and much to your shock, you see you remember you remember you saw the lerm the lerm and uh, that was so, uh, that was so white on the ship, as I said earlier. And much to your shock, you see a old rusty B1 battle droid, along with what appears to be a masculine humanoid wearing scary armor. Do I know any of these people? Where any of them? You like, know, my character, like DC's character or CD's character, and um. Like who was assigned to the ship with me? Yeah, so and who is yeah, not? So, the, so was... Rose, um, um, yeah, Rose we're... was there as a as a regular patch passenger. Um, oh, just what's your character's and, name again? Jason, yeah, Ast Astri, Jaden, uh, Jaden, uh, Jaden, and yeah, Astri. Jaden, yeah, Jaden and Astri were there and supposed to be there. Yeah, and then me and Jaden were supposed to be there, and then Earl. You got a lerm and stow away. You, uh, um, you know, finally got caught when, you know, TIE fighters started shooting at the ship. Oh, a lerman, by the way, is a, uh, it's lemur folk. Okay. And she wears fancy dresses. Which, she's gonna have one less fancy dress by the time we we get to Vaska. It should be about a day, t uh, day uh, uh, or two or a few, depending on whether or not you are encountering hostile forces. And looking ahead, you you do see, you do see, oh, like the the occasional uh, clone trooper helmet, and and a discarded uh, separatist droid. All right. It's just the d standard debris of the Ashlands. Yeah. Corpses. So, you have, you had, you managed to scavenge some, some supplies, weaponry, a little bit of armor, what, and whatever chunk you, uh, you managed to carry on you, and uh, some medical supplies. Yeah, from the ship. So, Ronnie, now that you have waken up and you saw new, uh, new people with you, would you like to introduce, uh, like, what would you say to these new, uh, new people? Hello? Did everyone just stop talking, or can no, I not hear I'm, anyone? Uh, oh, I haven't said anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, deficit? Do you want to say anything? Yeah. No, at the moment, I think I'm good to walk. I mean, I don't need to be on the stretcher anymore. Yeah, you you get up and you and you st and you uh, kind of like limp a little, nearly tr uh, tripping uh, on a first of your step, but you got your footing you know, footing up. Left foot, so... right foot, left foot, right foot. As you make tribes where, in the ash. Where exactly are we? Welcome to Vox. No, I know we're oh, on we're, Vox. Sorry. Uh, oh, we are in the Ashlands of Vox. One of the Ashlands, specifically. And then the character will say... Uh, Cosm will say the name of this specific um, area. Yeah, I haven't uh, put like uh, like uh, like defined much of the area for this uh, for this thing. So bear with me. Yeah. Uh, Cosm is born and raised on this planet. So <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at the campaign book real quick. <laughs> see if I got some locations down. Um, not much in the way of, hmm. Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna look. Uh, uh, like I'm gonna look up Ovas Wookie. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Wikipedia. 
I'm just gonna like look up a, a random location. Um, you are actually at um what appears to be the of uh, the march uh the what what were once known at the pale uh, pale wrath re um um marches. Uh, Pilar re marches. Is that I think Pilar I got the... spell it. P e l a t h dash r i marches. Wait, P E L. I'll copy and paste. Dash. Okay. Um, I, as we're walking, Doc does Pella say three. to our pilot friend, um, "Whoa, take it easy, big guy. Taking a planet to the face can cause all kinds of problems." And, uh, oh, the, um, uh, like, would you like me to say that with my nose pointed like this? I literally am writing down and showing Nate and reading it for the group. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe it was Lego's be... headset not work. Lego, he, he's here, but he's not able to talk right now. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can only have one monitor, so I can't see both. He's okay. Still at work. Wow, wow, take it easy, Richard. Take it advantage of face can cause some kind of some problems. Okay, that's actually not bad. I like that. Does that hurt your brain? No, I said I like it. No, I'm saying, does that hurt your, like, head if you do that? Because, like, don't do it if it hurts your head. I had to take a couple That's breaths like... to, uh, have a couple breaths every time, but... Okay. Just be careful. Oh. What's the status of the mission? Where? Alright. Well, it's a good thing I got depends. my notes down. It's a good thing I got my what? notes down. What was your mission? We, we got... We're... We crashed, we were attacked, and I think the bird is taking us to our next destination. Point to the bird. Is it called the bird? Nathan? Wait, I mean, um... Out of character, what was our mission? All right, so... Um, to contact some rebels here on boss. Okay. Yeah, because we're, you're here to aid the assistance against Dan Bosef, uh, who, who's been uh, who's been sent here by uh, Thro Admiral Thrawn. And okay. some Imperial he is... is if I remember right, has kidnapped some rebels, and we're also there to help retrieve them. Yeah, you're just here to assist the rebels in their fight against the the Imperial remnants. Just to clarify. Yep. And I have a different mission then. <laughs> well, yeah. same same mission, but additional objective. Yeah. yeah. So, Nathan. <laughs> When you when you look up, where, where is where where is poor Mari, just has like your mission survive. Yeah. So uh, so Ronnie, when you look up, you still see that bird, with green and white feathers, and when it when it like uh, spins around, and it glances at you with green eyes before, uh, flying forth to uh, guiding for uh, guiding you to your next des destination. It has uh, it had still a little a little uh, little a uh, little cloudy from the concussion, but once all the explanation come uh, uh once all uh, once once you get all, get all the all the explanation, um your head starts to clear up. Can you fight? Uh, Cosm is asking. Um, yeah, Ronnie. Uh I can fire a blaster, but I'm better at fighting behind the stick of a fighter. Well, unfortunately, we don't have any sticks of fighters or any fighters at all in in these boxes. We do have blasters. They are Imperial. And the, the look on Cosm's face is like, yeah, I know, I'm sorry this is shit, but that's the only stuff we've got. I mean, while you guys were salvaging the equipment, did you? I assume you grabbed my gear. Yeah, yeah. For simplicity's sake, yes. Oh, did. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab my carbine. Yeah. You got you. Oh, uh, oh you. Uh, so earlier you you had your carbine. You put on your. Since I'm not actually proficient in it with an Imperial blaster rifle. Yeah, you're more used to. Uh, you're more used with more. Uh, more simpler weapons that. that Simple uh, blasters. Uh, simple blasters yeah. that uh, that pilots will have to use in cases of emergency, in case when they crash down in hostile territory. Oh, in Doc's case, 
he's basically using a really, really old Severtus blaster that has now been right. downgraded, right. essentially, to a simple right. uh, in damage and stats. I'll allow I'll, is... I'll what uh, what a doc uh, what doc says. Might be able to rank you up as Fiona and Ward. It might explode. I've lost audio on everybody. Oh shit! <sighs> Try slowing down your speech, please, Connor. Okay. When you when you do Doc's voice. Okay, like this. Yeah, because uh, it was hard to make out what you said. Uh, might be able to wake you up as Peter, be warned, and might explode. I'm not having any uh, trouble hearing it. Do we actually have, like, looking yeah, okay. around, do we actually have the supplies to rig up a speeder? We probably did back at the ship. Um, also, how did Doc and Kasim get to the crash site? You were there on, um, on, you were, you rode on animals. They were there. Okay. At, uh, so if you hurry, you can grab, uh, you can grab your, uh, your mount and, um, uh, cut off, uh, travel time. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll grab the mounts, um... They seem to be uh, to be a bit a bit, sco uh, a bit uh, spooked uh, when you approach them by the uh, by the fight below. If you if you want to ride them again without uh, them running off, um, be sure to roll an animal handling check. All right, I'll do that. Is anyone trained in animal handling? My other character would have been. <laughs> oh, sorry, All right, well guess. I'm not, but I got a plus four. Fourteen. What was it? Well, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Yeah, you're able to calm down your animal. Uh, your your mount just fine. <laughs> Pat on the side. Shushing it, telling that it's all right. You're here. You're alive. Everything's all right. We just you just we just need to get to safety. I don't think we need to bother rigging up a speeder at just the moment. It might take a little bit too much time, and we should probably get moving if we're being followed. And as far as fighting, yes, I can I can fire this carbine. Don't really like to use the longer rifles. But if it does come down to it, I did study fencing while at the academy. I'm just picturing that scene from, from Star Trek with uh, Sulu, both original and the movies. And he tells everyone that he started fencing, and then, in, yeah, in the original, yeah, I remember foil. that. Yeah, and then in, in the movies, it was a fold-out <laughs> katana. <laughs> nice. Actually, it was a fold-out ninja toe. I... Yeah. Alrighty. <coughs> the ash continues to fall from the sky. Um, uh, Kasim, from what you have, uh, from what do you have, uh. Because of of of, of you, you being born and raised, you have recalled that this uh, that, that the dirty one was uh, detonated uh, was set, was set up by the by the separatists during the Clone Wars, but detonated by the Imperials, in spite of the resistance's best efforts years ago. All right. Um, in that case, I'm going to warn everyone: you know, we need to travel through these as quick as possible. Yeah. This specific Ashland was called by, caused by dirty bombs that were planted during the Clone Wars. But... Yeah. Um, Not just this place, but all over the world. Yeah. Well, I figured there are various Ashlands that may have different causes. Some of dirty bombs, some glassing. Yeah. Um, but this one specifically being dirty bombs. Yeah. Anyway, we need to reduce. Anyway, we need to cross as quick as we can uh, in order to reduce. I need to change have, my character's voice. There's, I don't a, like there's, it. Um, is there, uh, there's helmets around the area, right? Yeah, your helmet should uh, should be fine. Everybody, uh, everybody else except. Oh, yeah. Everyone's going to be wearing helmets except for, of course, uh, Doc. Um, I don't have but my character while walking because the ash wraps something around her face. Okay. Uh, that might be enough. Um, at the very least, we could probably also find some eye protection for your character. Like, 
unlike the majority of like everybody, she's she doesn't have a lot on her. Okay. She doesn't have a lot of stuff on her. I hope you can protect yourself. Protect myself just fine. Luckily, we have... I'm just forgetting what they're called. They reduce... Um, radiation sickness. Gas max? Or like no, ha- no. my suits? No, this would be in... in... Radaway. Right yeah, this would be Radaway right in Fallout. I almost said Radex, but Radex is the one radiation, that reduces. You're talking about radiation pills. That's what you have. Yeah. All right. Now that everybody has properly introduced, introduced each other and has properly equipped, would you all gather forth and gather around and, get, and venture forth? Yep. I mean, I've been following this bird the yeah. whole time, so... You, okay, so there are a few, there are a few uh, mount up uh, on the on these animals, and uh, you'll catch up with a- um, Astri. If I got the did I get your name right, Astri? Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. You have traveled quite a bit of a dis- uh, 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 of a uh, quite a bit of a distance away, as you pa- you passing by. Or like walking down, or walking uh, across this ash-covered field, tra- uh, tracks leaving you in your wake, but more ash falling from the sky covers your tracks easily enough. Okay, I want a five. However, um, I would like everyone to roll a perception check. Perception. Perception. Hmm. Perception. 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 Mm-hmm. Oof. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. That's. That's yeah. Bruh. Oh. Eighteen. Uh, perception. Yeah. Yep. Uh, twenty-one. Astri, Marta, y- you know there's something off about uh, about this uh, about this spot uh, uh, like this spot of like rocks and field up ahead. They don't feel like they're quite rocks. Uh, I. I, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull out my vibro dagger and enhance it with the force. Okay, use the and... force and with the uh with the uh like you feel a bit of a rumble around your five more of a uh, more of a, a rumble as it like fives even more. Like yeah, like I I Five-way. just I slowly I slowly pull it out and like. I I enhance it, but like I'm getting ready for something to jump out at me. Also, Doc rolled a natural twenty, um, total twenty five. Nice. All right, Doc, you also knows that too. All right, so uh, Doc, actually, as a matter of fact, since you rolled so high, um, you kind of you kind of recognize what these are just at a glance. They're mines, Imperial mines. Mines that explode, or mines that extract minerals from the earth? Explode. Or in some cases, both. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) I mean, you're not wrong. Alrighty. Uh, So Doc is like, watch out! I'm throwing a mine up ahead! What will you do? How many are there? 
you yeah, you see about like five uh of the uh, you see five, if yeah. Well, you can go around, but it would take but it would take longer to get to your destination. It would uh, it would take up about uh, two uh two hours to get around. You're in like a bit of an alley, uh, you're like in a bit of a valley, like with tall, are steep they, cliff sides. Uh, like are they you know, tiny, like fist-sized rocks that are anti-personnel mines? Are we talking like are they anti-vehicle mines? Uh, they tend to vary in size, so I'm going to say yes to both. Okay. So, um, God, hold on. I gotta, I gotta look up something because I have the tools, but I don't know. I have tools and skill, but I don't know if I have if it's the right tools for this specific job. Security kit. I believe security kit. Uh, let me check security kit. Security... Is it security or is it? Because I think I have. I have both. Trapper's kit. Oh boy. Trapper's kit, slice kit, and security kit. Is, is... Well, which, which one is used for these specifically? Um, since these... Uh, I would like you to roll a technology check. God, I want to turn to someone that actually wouldn't... Have, know more about it than I do because I I don't have a negative, but I'm not proficient in technology. Alright. Uh, I'll probably figure something out. Like, well, I'll, I'll, over my shoulder, I'll how, ask. How different could a mine be from a proton torpedo casing? I mean, go, you know. Go ahead and roll technology, de uh, Ronnie. Uh, Doc, you too. With advantage, because you're more familiar with... 15. They that could, was a low roll. Uh, you you're vaguely, yeah, you, you're pretty sure that uh, that that they can be uh, they can be hacked from from distance uh, distance away, but if you want to have a better chance, you need you have to do you have to slice it uh, up close, very carefully. No, what I'm asking is what kit is needed for that. He I, just said slicers kit, but security kit slicers. He just said slicers oh, kit. Slicers he's kit. Got do, he's got dirty twenty. Yep. So, so, uh, 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 so, Doc, they, uh, the only way to disarm them is to slice them, um, very close and very carefully. Yeah, that's. I think that's the one kid I don't. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me check. I don't have a slicer's kit. And I'm not proficient, so I don't know. Is anybody proficient in slicer's kit? Well, I happen to have a slicer's kit, and I am an expert. Oh, well, you should go do it. <laughs> it was extracurricular activities while at uh, the university. Uh -huh. the totally. <laughs> Definitely not part of the regular well, training. slice the crap out of it. Sorry, I forgot I was mean. Um, it's actually a security kit. Security oh, kit. I thought it was uh, slice slicer's kit because it's it, it's it, it's uh, security because... is is bypass physical lock slicer is um, yeah the security so kit slicer is, uh... bypasses computerized defenses and locks trapper is and can the... create disarm and disassemble traps yeah so um yeah. so so, 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 so these a security oh, so these, kit or a trapper's kit so these mines are uh, uh, can detect uh, can electronically detect. Uh, the uh, uh, the proximity of uh, uh, of someone, which would detonate in that um, proximity. Um, if you move what would happen? What would happen if we hit it with a uh, ion shot? Roll me a tech techno. Uh, this is going to be a pretty simple technology uh, roll. Go ahead. Okay, technology. For I mean, you would you would have to assume that an anti personnel mine is with an advanced computer system isn't going to go off for one person being near it. It's going to want to hit an entire squad, right? Yeah, but also this, this is thir these are thirty year old mines. Right, but I'm I'm just saying that one person could hypothetically walk up to them, and they won't trigger because, like I said, they're going to want to get multiple yeah, people. Uh, yeah. 
Um, and Ion Blast wouldn't take uh, take it out. And yes, no, but could it at least disable it short for a short period of time? Yes, uh, very a very short period of time. If you do it, you have to, you have to like sprint. Uh, well, uh, wrist mounted missile, take it out. Yeah, but that would make a lot of noise. And that would probably attract uh, either. If you blow up the entire minefield, everyone within thirty miles knows where we are. No, well, no, we'd probably be turned into powder, and they would never find where we are. <laughs> Hang on, let me convert miles to. Uh, let me convert miles to kilometers. Yeah, <laughs> right. Point six. Point six. Thank you. Forty-eight kilometers. Multiply by that by one point six, uh, uh, about. So you're close. Yeah, it's kind of the so sad. Forty-eight kilometers. So, you were uh, so you were kind of discuss seeing if what's the best approach. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to walk around it or okay, find a way so, to? So, so oh, holy shit! Sorry. Oh wait, never mind. I don't. I was trying to open it up there. in my thing. Okay, so um, I. How far is the, like, usually how close can you get before it detects you, like? About, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say as soon as you're within, uh, five, uh, three to five meters, it'll start to set off. Wait, um, okay, so does anyone have a trappers or a security kit? Proficiency? Well, I, I have a slicer's kit, and I thought that's what I was gonna use in. Well, I'm proficient in have both. Um, okay. Um, slice. I I have a slicer and trap. I okay. I have security and trapper proficiency and have both kits. Okay. I want to know. Yeah, with um, with uh with Ronnie's slicer kit, you can use a trapper's kit to disable each of these uh, traps. Very careful. All right. Um. I'm going to take off my armor and give it to you. Uh, take it off and giving it to you? To, uh, to you while, while you're going to do this because um, non-organic things get disadvantaged on, that color. Um, okay, no, I gotta, I gotta undo on detecting. Uh, wait, yeah. that is the normal? I'm sorry, what are you talking about, um, Cabot? I'm trying to read that ability, but it's it's on like this white background. It's horrible. It's yeah, the white. It's, it's white, white on, gray. on gray background. It's why is it like that? That is, that I don't know that is that burning is. my eyes. <laughs> what? Are it does not have. At? It does not have dark. It does. It has dark mode. It has dark, dark mode. mode. Well, I'm on dark mode, and it is white, white on, on gray, gray. backgrounds. What are we talking about? Thank goodness about? I got Dark Reader because that's just suck. Yeah, go to the main uh, website and click on Join the Dark Side. Your, your thing better. that you put into chat on accident, it's for for me, it is gray or white writing oh. on gray background. Oh, yeah, on mine it looks totally normal. It, it, is, it is green and white for me. Oh, shit. Just highlight it. Anyways, I didn't mean to send it to chat. I, I tried to open it on my character sheet and click the wrong button. It happens. It happens. Um, I'm so I'm, avoid, you know I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take off my armor because I I am wearing armor. Um, and how long does it armor. take to to to, to, to often done armor? It's Several light minutes. armor, so whatever, however long it takes for light armor to be taken yeah. off. Yeah, when you put on uh, Cosm's armor, it's quite heavier than you used to, but you've been trained for the sword lane. All right, if you want to be, if you want the to, the other option, the other option is I do it because I essentially have jack of all trades. So, I mean, got... we we both have jack of all trades. Oh duh! <laughs> but I'm I'm proficient in it, so I have more to yeah. the role. Um. Yeah, I'll put it on. I mean, I'm gonna... I don't have, like, I have a 12 in strength, so, I mean, even it's... 
slightly heavier than I'm used to. It's slightly heavier than I'm used to. Oh, if you got a 12 inch strength, you're fine because my strength is 10. Yeah, like, I know I just, my character always wears light armor. Yeah. But it, it's just slightly heavier than I'm used to. Alrighty. If you're going to approach the uh, uh, one of the mines at least carefully, I would like you to roll me a stealth check. And because you're wearing customs armor, for simplicity's sake, roll me with the, roll me that with with a vantage. Not even with simplicity's sake. That's explicitly what it allows it to do. I know. I'm just saying for simplicity's sake. That would be a natural 20 and a 17. <laughs> oh, natural, natural 20! So, 25. Finally, you're, the net 20s are working in your favor instead of against you. I know, right? I know, jeez. Yeah, if you want to see, this is... This, this. How many crits can, can the Jedi take? Yes. <laughs> Several, apparently. Yeah, how many um, times the whole night will screw us over? So I'm, I'm this close to asking to use my own dice because, because yeah, we'll try to keep screwing the <laughs> Right, so... We're there. And... Hold on. Let me, real quick, figure something out. Um, I gotta look up. I got. I go. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Jesse, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, so you're able to like uh, you are you're very light light on your feet as you just carefully, very carefully step uh, uh towards the uh one of the mines. Pulls at the ready. Nathan, wait, I mean Ronnie, do you also approach the uh the mine with your tools? In hold hand? hold on. So the would I be able to disen? I wouldn't be able to disengage the um the sensor like so Ronnie could get close. Would I? You don't. You couldn't find uh, find a way to uh, able to dis uh, disable the uh, sensors. So Ronnie, yeah, that, that's why she's wearing my armor. Yeah, uh, that was because uh, while yeah, it's not disabling the sensors. It, the, the, the sensors have disadvantage on detecting her. Yeah, so Ronnie well, she has advantage. So Ronnie, I, before so I'm sorry, I I just need to. I have um. Because I have a, an ability. Um, so, standing next to the mine, how far is Ronnie from me? I'm going to say about... Uh... Okay, so... okay. Because if you say kilometers, it's not going to help me because yes. everything's in feet in, in this. Alright, so... Uh... Um, 30. So I'm going to say, uh, Ronnie is about nine to 10 meters away from you. Oh, also known as way too fucking close. Oh, if, if it's determined that Slicer's kit is not how you would do anything with these, then I wouldn't be approaching them because I wouldn't have the expertise to do so, it. Okay, so... Is this security and trappers or is this splicer? It's security and trappers yeah. because they are traps. They are traps. Okay, I then mean... I can just do this by myself. Yeah, and uh, and, and you can disable the uh, slicers to disable uh, the sensors. Proficient. I have I have I have half proficiency in splicers. I'm not going to attempt to do Slicing at the moment, because I can get to the mines easier. I will, I will disarm this trap. Okay, go ahead and roll me either security or trapper's kit check. 
With the dexterity. I mean, with dexterity, okay. Uh, I mean, it's my second highest, so... Which is why I have light armor. <laughs> if I go the sneaky route for level 4, then my dex is going to be 16 with medium armor. Hmm. Why is that not? Uh, so that is three plus two, right? Yeah, some proficient in it. That would be again natural twenty on this first one. Good. There's only one hundred and thirteen more to go. <laughs> There's but... only a whole bunch. Um. Uh, that that would be twenty five. Yeah, it's a high second roll. Surprisingly, what? this is uh, su surprisingly this was pretty. Oh, you know, this was pretty easy. Or perhaps it could be uh, luck, but as but you know, knowing you, there's no such thing as luck. And you're able to like disable the uh, with the with the slight beep beep. It dies. Uh, the the uh, the mine just like shuts down. Well, you got. A couple more to disable to make a safe passage for the rest of the party. Well, I move to the next ones right. quietly and stealthily as I possibly can. Uh, roll me another stealth check with with advantage. That would be. A dirty twenty. Yep. Um, the sensors did not pick you up. You you're, you can safely uh, disable the trap. Disable. <laughs> this has to be the the most. Oh! <laughs> it's not not it's not uh, three natural ones in a row. This but... is another natural twenty. <laughs> Well, well, my first natural 20, 20, dirty 20, net 20. My, the first natural 20 was on advantage, so I'm not too surprised, like. Yeah, just like the last, uh, the previous mine, you just basically just like jam your, oh, your, you basically jam your security kit, uh, uh cut a few wires, and it goes inert. The, the mine, I mean. The mine, in, uh, the mine is disabled. Okay. Um, so I stealth over... Oh, stealth is at advantage. I'm gonna stick trackers on the mines that she disables. With with what exactly? I love advantage. Just basically, you know, as a simple... For when we get back to base, it's like, okay, so these mines have been disabled. This is a safe path through. Well, I will, I will just say... This is revenge, Nord, for last game we played. <laughs> Seven fucking crits against you or something like that. For a game. Like, so many. I rolled a natural 20 and a 4. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, uh, so yeah, so that's the- I mean, when you walk up to a stormtrooper and put your fist through their skull, yeah, everyone is gonna start shooting you. <laughs> Right, you, you punched the first one in the face and killed him, right? Or was it the I, chest? I don't the first hit, but I did punch him to death, yeah. It was the chest. Guard Cut him all. <laughs> Yeah, so... Alright. So, so, you're up to the third one, I think. Yeah, the third one... Yeah, natural 20 natural again. Natural 20. And then, uh, okay, and go ahead. And Did you disable it? Are you going to disable it, or have you disabled it already? to disable it yet okay so go ahead we and roll were, that we were just talking the security kit okay uh okay, right it's 14 plus 5 so that's 19. it this one took a bit more effort than the last but um you are able to disable this uh this this mine and Cossum makes another mark uh make uh uh it signify that it's disabled you look around and you All see right. that there's one more uh mine to disable Alright, um, 
that is a 19 on advantage. You're able to, um, uh, 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 like, slowly approach the, uh, the slash mine safely. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a security kit. Alright, I rolled another, I... <laughs> Um, Did, you rolled that, another that twenty, didn't you? No, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't. I rolled another fourteen. So, which is my, what what I rolled last time. So it's nineteen. Oh, it's, so it's another nineteen. Yeah, it's disabled. You managed to disable all the mines in the area. Yep. And you let up this like sigh of relief. Huh. <sighs> that was close. Huh was sheer luck. Well, in your experience, there's no such thing as luck. No, no, but I mean, as a player, that was sheer luck. <laughs> um, I did remove the armor and give it back to, um... Awesome. Name. Yeah, Cossum. I forgot it is. Cossum. Yeah. Yeah, so you point out, you, so you point out back your respective armors, and you uh, move forward out of uh, out of this uh, uh, valley. You did pass by a few uh, a few uh, animal skulls, though. They do um, if you want, you can go ahead and roll um, uh, nature for those who are native to the planet. Uh, for those who are uh, 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 so oh, still okay. Um, Astri uh, Astri managed to disable all of the traps. All right, cool. And she gave you back your armor. Yeah. Sweet. And I put my armor back on. So over the course of the of disabling the mines, it took you about nearly an hour to disable all of them because you had to be very precise. You had to like pick the wires, stuff like that. This entire time, Carlson was feeling more naked standing out here without his armor than he would if he was buck ass naked. <laughs> Yeah, and you pass by some of the uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, some of the animal skulls. So, uh, for those who are, uh, 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 you can go ahead and roll a nature check. But for those who live on the planet, you can go, go ahead and do so with advantage. So that means Cosm and Doc can roll nature with advantage. Do not have nature trained. Nope, that's a five. It just seemed like an animal, you thought. It's an animal. Uh, it... <laughs> it's dead. Don't really care. Yeah. You recognize that some of these animal skulls are not native to the planet. Smugglers have brought them over to repopulate the uh, the planet of the bosses of You're of breaking up. You're breaking up with a bad man. Oh, shit. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, we're having a bit of a lag spike. Okay, I think we're good. You're back. Uh, give me a moment, everybody. Uh, we are having some difficulties. Uh oh, what's up? Who's having difficult? Uh, me, 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 me. Oh, okay. oh shit! Uh oh, yeah, I lagged Hang up, on, guys. It's fine. It's fine. I just need to stop streaming for a sec. Okay, there we go. No need. No need. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah. So yeah. So anyway, what was I saying? So uh, yeah. So when you uh, we like uh, glance at these skulls, bones, and everything. Oh, the twenty-three. So uh, so Doc, since you're since you live uh, so you were uh so you've been on this planet for quite a while, you recognize that these skulls belong to animals that were not uh native to this uh planet. Smugglers, anyone hired to breed these animals over there were brought over there to repopulate the planet's fauna, as it were, including uh, rancors and and the like, and even some uh, the like things from uh, Sh 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 Fallen Order and uh, Survivor, the Uga, uh, the and Nexu, and Nexus. Just no. did they bring over I any nerds? I don't know what any of that is. They're animals. 
I remember um, the big old scary looking cat thing that attacked uh, Padme in episode two? Yeah, they're called no. octos. An, that, that, yeah, the octos. Three eyed, uh, three eyed, large frog like creatures with teeth. They're frog like? You said they were cat like. No, no, the other thing he said. Then. Yeah. The, the uh, much of the native uh, the native uh, fauna and flora on this planet were decimated, but not only uh, during the Clone Wars, but also by the Empire. It oh, decimated! So there's still ninety percent of it left. Thank you. He he said thank you. By the way, just for clarification. I know. I know. Did did any of them smuggle over any nerfs? Probably, uh, cause some no, so yes. I've heard of nerf herders, but nerf smugglers? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not saying that in character, by the way. It was... Yeah. When you got out of the valley, you lost track of the uh, bird. If you can, I would like each of you to roll a survival check. Well, I'm proficient in that. I curse under my breath about damn bombs and stupid ass, um, stu stupid ass war, war crimes, or whatever it is, like like um, that is a. Uh, I could say uh, uh, 23, 23 on my end. It took a while, but you, but you do see the strange bird perched on a uh, on a dead tree before it f or, flies off into the same direction. Just say on one of the bombs. Actually, on one of the cra on one of the crashed uh, ships from the, from the Clone mm -hmm. Wars, one of the freighter ships. Hey, Lego! Glad to uh, glad to see you uh, to hear from you again. This audio is too unbearable. Audio is a little muffled, but it's it's not the greatest. I've heard worse. <sighs> it's better than nothing. I mean, it could be me speaking. Yeah, I'm in the car. I'm gonna head home. All right. Yeah. It hopefully won't but be too I long. I can actually talk now. It's half an hour. Yeah. I can talk though. Yeah. So. Uh, so, uh, Never so, really Astri, so you're Hard able drive. to spot the, not on a, uh, not a part of that tree, but on, like, you know, the, uh, the very tip, uh, wing, uh, tip of a wing of one of those, like, freighters that clone turbots were uh, transported on. Yeah, on a transport ship. Yeah, transport ship. Okay, I go in that direction. The, uh, the convoy flies off into, uh, and you follow it. Now, however, out of the corner of your eye, you did see a strange uh, raven with uh, that were that was perched on uh, on a dead tr uh, tr a tree about um, fifty. They're called lats, by the way. They're called what? Lats. Lats in Star Wars. L A A T. Low altitude assault transport infantry. Gotcha. Uh, this, I don't know what they're actually called in Star Wars, but I'm going to call them raven for simplicity's sake. Okay. They, uh, I think you're talking about different things. Fair, yeah, the, called, you got you, humans, so Raven could very well be a thing around. Yeah. When it, you it sounds like you're talking about a bird, and he's talking about yeah. I'm, so so I'm talking about a different bird this time. So when you glance at this bird, about this uh, this raven-like creature has very dark gray. Uh, feathers, almost shade of ash, as if. Sorry, it... Is this the ship you were talking about? Uh, give me a moment. Yes, that's the ship. Yeah, they're called Blats. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was on the uh, on, and at a glance, uh, um, uh, Astri, you did see a a corpse of a uh, of a clone trooper. Is oh. this bird? Would it be slightly like you if a flock of the the um, the murderer ravens, what they're called, <laughs> um, were 
No, like together, the unkindness of ravens. It's a murder of crows. Oh, that's right. Ki- that's kindness. right. kindness, unkindness, unkindness of ravens. Which is weird because ravens are really nice. I know they I are. Know. Anyway, um, but, um, well, it's because they're black and they they they're. Are we talking about a scavengers? No, no, no. An unkindness I actually, of ravens. I accidentally called a flock of ravens a murder, which that's yeah. crows instead of anyway. Um, if there was a uh, an unkindness of ravens, would I be able to pick this that raven out? Yeah, like of I the said, flock? This... like it's slightly different. It's it's different. It's like it's it's ash like gray with red eyes. Oh, do I feel? You do sense something cold from this raven. Mm. <laughs> the birds are spies. I knew it. Birds aren't real. Okay. Mm, Mm-hmm. Something cold, something. I dark. I feel a little. I get. I I start to feel like looking at. Like I'm looking at the bird. Is, does and like else I, get my body feeling, language is just. Is yeah. Just... Uh, whoever is sensitive to the force, such as um Mara. Uh, I Mara? would say with Kasa. my character, I get like I've kind of like you can tell I'm starting to get really uncomfortable. Yeah. You and can... I start fall. Like I, I like kind of follow the other uh, bird faster. Like I want to get away from this thing. Yeah, Cosm, Mara, you do feel that same cold, dark presence from this uh, emanating from this bird. Can birds be Siths? Uh, they're well, n- no, they could be empowered. Uh, there are ways to basically Reasons possess things it. with the force. Um, it could just be the force doing a, an omen. My character is like, "Come on, guys, we gotta hurry." And it's not. Yeah, it's also not. It's because, if I remember correctly, the brother has uses a claw, I think, doesn't he? Yeah, that's the that's the thing is like my character's not saying anything about that, but my character is urging everybody to follow me faster away from this strange raven. Can I shoot it? You could go ahead and try. You can go. Do we... Can't stop I you. I don't think Rose is pointed. Oh, you know it actually. <laughs> go ahead and roll it's attack. Dangerous, right? I'm asking, you... like, what, it, like, is it shootable? Like, where, where, how far away is this thing? Uh, so you were, uh, so it was like, uh, so you see about like about te- like, it's it's within shooting distance. Is it just sitting there, not moving? It it looks at you at each of you, with the tilt of its head, and cause. But if you, but this car if you was very, uh, very hoarse, very echoey. Is it a it's zombie? Really different than a normal raven and okay I'm going to check what that does exactly All right, so, so Mara, you're going to shoot the strange raven, right? Mara, Cabot, are you there? I'm here, and I'm asking what I'm what I'm allowed to do here. Hey, so I don't mean, know if I should or should not shoot it. It's just kind of sitting there, but it's evil. I don't. Well, I don't understand what I'm feeling from it. You you're feel... feeling cold and. What does Dread. that mean? That You're... means the dark side. Okay, so this thing is dark side. Then shouldn't we be shooting it? It's up to you. What if shooting it and killing it makes all of its dark sideness go into the air and then we breathe it in? That doesn't make sense. True, but it also doesn't not make sense. Possum's just going to say, but, but, but we should leave let's, it. Let's leave it alone. Better not... Better not to mess with what we don't fully know. 
It's clearly it's 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 dark side. What, why would you want to just leave it? We what if don't it's know following this... us? What if it's tracking us and you're just going to leave it? Trust we me. Don't know who's controlling there's it. nothing we can do. Well, there's nothing we can do. I can. We shoot could it shoot it. Now. I mean, that is an option. Yes, and then whatever, if something is connected to it, they would be immediately aware, most likely. Yes. They're already aware. And then Cosm stops himself from saying anything more. Oh, fine. It's just, they're already aware if there is something connected to it. So I don't see the difference, but you know best. They're always I'm aware. with you. I'll keep watching it. Mm -hmm. As as you basically uh, talk about, uh, do you do you actually say what do you plan to do out loud in character? No, I, I the last thing I say is they're always aware, and then I start walking and following the the other bird, the the green bird. Who has the highest passive perception? What's everybody's passive perception? My I'm not gonna. Passive. I'm not gonna. Inc um. um I believe mine is 15. Yeah, okay. Mine is 16. I do believe mine is How do you do passive 12. perception again? Passive perception passive. is 10 plus your... Uh, your um... 10 plus... Yeah. 12. 11 for me, so I'm out of... 10 plus my perception, or what? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then that's 17. Your perception... Damn. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because you got a wisdom of... of All right. <laughs> I got a kyber crystal in my brain. <laughs> that makes me wise. Mara. Okay, Mara... You do hear a faint chuckle echoing in the wind. Oh, but a 15 doesn't, though? That so yeah. sad. So do, so do you, Costum, and so I, do you, Mastery. Okay. I, I visibly, like, like, just kind of quick, like, flinch, just like, Here, I will make it so it can't spy on us. Whoa. I'm gonna go smack the bird. With what? The shocky end of my stick. Alrighty. No. You... Okay. While also muting, while also making it so it's mute. Alrighty. I would like you to roll, uh, to roll me, uh, to roll me a an attack roll. Yeah. Make an attack roll. We are shooting the bird. No, he's I'm, going to the bird. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to make the bird mute, and I'm not killing the bird. Which is, which is. I'm like, what the hell? What, what, what? Oops. Thank I, you, I, I, you going? One higher. I actually. say, I say, I, I yelled no when he starts going away. But then I, I'm just, I'm getting myself out of there. Yeah, when when you uh, raise up your raise up your pole arm and strike the uh, and strike the raven, it disappears in, in black mist, and the chuckle grows uh, loud before it fades into the winds. Thought so. so. You feel you feel am... oh, you feel a an intense shiver in your uh you know, down in your spine. I'm gonna have to look at my books. Up ahead, you you see <clears throat> you see the familiar uh, white and green uh, carnivore circling around above you. You feel a bit uh, you so, so Cosm, Mara, especially you, Ashley, you feel a sense uh, of uh, serenity uh, from this uh, uh, from this bird. As oh, if, we hear you. Uh, we hear you. Oh, does that mean this okay. is force aligned? Light yeah. side? Yeah, this is the light side. So this there's a bird. light bird and a dark bird? Uh-huh. Well, there was a dark bird. Now it's a dead bird. Yeah. Well, it's no, a... It, 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 it I poofed. It poofed. Bird. I didn't hit it. <laughs> Birds don't poof. 
It, it, it poofed. It, it um, was an and it wasn't a it wasn't a bird. It was a like it, it was an illusion. It was an illusion. Then you don't know. I'll be right back. You don't, you don't know. know. Wait, there's ghosts in this. You don't know. Uh, yes, actually. <laughs> I did not know there's ghosts in Star Wars. I got it. Well, there admit. are four spirits, yep. and therefore I don't. I don't mean four spirits. I mean, yeah, but the only those are those are only light aligned. You can't be a four no, spirit if you're a not, bad person. No. They're not all. They're not all light aligned. You, hey, so, uh, Chessy, they're not, yeah, there's 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 those dark side ghosts too. They're, yes, they're, they're, and there are, the and there are entities more powerful than you could have imagined. Is that who's that? Uh, Who just hit their bird? <laughs> so, uh, and I am not talking about zombies. So they, although they exist in multiple forms in Star Wars canonically, I am talking about oh, something else from uh, uh, that, that has appearances in Clone Wars in, in like an arc, but also has uh, has made, has left an impact um, in uh, like has has been of a presence in Rebels and other shows. Hmm. It's Just, not well known. The, the 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 knowledge of the these aren't fully well known. So it wouldn't be surprising if your character didn't know about them. I'll keep I'll 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 leave a bit of a yeah. It's an arc from the Clone Wars. That's about as much of a hint as as I would give for those who haven't seen it. There's way too many shows involving Star Wars. I have no desire to go and watch all of them. Well, there's Clone anyway. Wars, Rebels. There's also, there. one, there's also more than one Clone Wars, too. Well, the, there's, the, one, the, there's one canonical Clone Wars. The, the canon, the, the, the 3D era. Uh, the, yeah, the 3D era. Canon has no meaning. Yes, what? it does. Not, let's not talk about that. Well, let's not bring it up. I'm using the canonical. I'm using uh, the canonical stuff, such as Clone Wars, Mandalorian, and the like. So anyway, so do you uh, do you look? Do you following the bird? The friendly uh, bird, the one that makes you feel uh, feel good inside. I my character closes her eyes a little bit just to like take in, and then I'm gonna follow the bird. Okay. Kind of like center myself and then continue on. You feel you you feel yourself in spiritually in balance. Even more. Yeah, I'm gonna roll the roll this game because it's because it's a mind thing. So. Oh, one. Oh God. Wildlife, uh, everybody. Wildlife. You do see like a herd of. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna just like. Just pick a random animal and go with it. A random animal of your um of your of your level, because I am not doing a, a big ass uh rain coral like in the uh, like in the uh, uh game room <laughs> sessions. <laughs> All right, sorry. I'm All right, Kyle, I did get so cute. What I miss? Oh, nothing much. Just uh yeah, you can see the following yeah, and the sure. yeah and. So I I I told uh, I told uh, some of the uh, people here about like uh, like four like they're they're entity stronger than Jedi and Sith. I am making references to a certain arc in Clone Wars. And 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 someone and I, and I made a comment. Someone just hit one of their. Uh... <laughs> yep, and that's and uh, that's awesome. Yep, yeah. Someone someone hit hit their. I want I want to say. I don't want to say familiar, but also familiar. I don't know well, what it, to call it. It was an apparition. By definition, it is an apparition. What type, we don't know. That's also but, why Cosm, when, when after it poof, went, hmm, I need to check my books. All right, you did, you do see, <sighs> oh man, I have, you do, you do see, well, I'm going to look up what, okay. You do see a what appears to be a herd of young Gundarks up ahead. They are not aware of you. What do you do? 
I say stealth, but I yeah, mean, we I don't sneak know the fuck around these things because we don't want Mama Gun Dark coming after us. Yeah, I think if we, I mean, how many of them are there? I'm gonna say um, four young gun darks. Like they are very um, like very wet skinned with fur, with fur in certain place, like 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 hairs, uh. like fur, like on their on the wrists and. This should be easier. Here, all you gotta do to take care of them is rip their ears off. What's that? What? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> That was a joke and not in character. Yeah. How the thing all you gotta do to take care of them is rip their ears off. Yeah, see, so they oh, are. Oh, yeah, because it's what Han Solo says. Just like, I hear you're strong enough to rip the pull the ears off a of Gundark. Yeah. yeah. So, Gundark? so the, you see, like, four um, armed, red skinned creatures here, called Gundarks. I see. I, I'm pulling up the image. Oh, that thing. Okay. Yeah. It's like a cross between a lobster and a gremlin. Yeah, so but for... they got big ears. Yeah, like easily grabbable ears. So it looks like it looks like you took like a freaking crabby and and crammed it with the gremlin from Gremlins. Oh yeah. Also, they're two meters tall, and have very keen hearing. Did two you say tall? two meters tall? That's yeah. not much bigger than a womp rat. <laughs> God, I knew you were gonna say that. Oh, so they're like three times my size. Holy crap! Okay, scary. I <laughs> am going to ask yeah. you to roll, to roll stealth while I roll one perception check with the fanch from one of the gun darks. Everybody, roll a stealth check. So we all roll stealth then. Yes. Yep. And while I will roll, see who with tips them off. My speciality. Seventeen. Oh. Ooh, Actually, no. Game. Stealth is not my specialty skill wise. Spe skill wise, my specialty is insight. Alrighty, <laughs> I'm getting ready. My armor specialty is stealth. Mm, seventeen. Uh, yeah, mine's a seventeen. Oh, wonderful. Oh, good thing I get advantage. Okay. I mean, on stealth check, don't you just need like a majority to pass? Yeah, I'm going to say 17 beats their perception check, and you're able okay. to, like, basically just tell your, uh, basically, like, hide among the, uh, among the ashen fields with your mounts, and the Dundarks just run by without incident. We park our planet way behind a rock. Yeah, uh, Doc, what'd you roll? I, ha I need something else to do. I'm driving. I, I think oh, oh, um, do, do you remember what? Three for me. Okay, I'll do that. All right, I got it. Yeah, I got a. Yeah, I, I credited. Uh, uh, no, uh, never mind. Rose can do it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I. You were also doing it. I got a seventeen on my dice. So. Oh yeah, let's go with hers. Uh, dirty okay, twenty. Dirty twenty. No, credit twenty-two. Twenty-two crit. Nice. Okay, uh, the mental, uh, so Jaden, you're able to like tell everyone, stay down, stay down, get uh, 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 high by this hill, and don't let them see you. <laughs> They're called intellect devourers. The more, the more intelligent you are, the more attracted they are to eating you. Well, now oh, that's no, just hurtful as they all pass. <laughs> and I do have my, I do have my, bla I do have my heavy blaster out. Yeah, you stay still. Like sweat, uh, like for those who can who are not droids, uh, like sweat, uh, like beating, uh, like, uh, like you, you, hear, you feel a bit of sweat point, uh, like going coming down your cheekbones as they pass and like grunt as they just like, I have no idea how they walk, just they walk like gorillas, I guess, yeah, something like that. Okay, good enough. Uh, Jaden, you look out. And they are too far away from you. Uh, basically go very quietly to the others, and I'll start backing out and just keep and just keep an eye on them with my pistol out just in case. So one of those sides a ton, and then I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna start shooting? No. no. Start shooting. When they notice us, he's gonna start yeah. shooting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you move forward. And uh, you continue forward without uh, without incident. Yeah, basically, watch not six. Okay. 
um, you, you you look up and see that uh, that dawn is slowly is slowly turn uh, like the day is turning to night, as you see uh, like a very dark red before it turns into a a a thick black. That time has come. And whatever uh, and whatever move that you can see is hit behind the ash clouds. It's too dangerous to travel at night. We need to make camp. I could build a cave and get me I, half an hour. I am tiny and squishy, so yes, I agree. Let's make it camp because that does not sound like a good idea. It does not sound like fun to be eaten by those things. Like we're in a canyon. You're, uh, you're out in like in like in a bit of an open field, with like some the occasional, uh, like the with the occasional class ship or pile of droids or that clone trooper. Oh, and cr and crater and, 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 and a crater flat and like a uh, crater from like, pl uh, blaster blasts. Um, let's go look at a down lat. See so if there's any that. Looks sturdy enough for us to camp inside. Go ahead and roll me a perception check. No, actually, I got a better idea. Was... Survival. Survival. Same check for me. Well, got Son of a bitch! Yep, you, you knock on it, and... Hey, hey, Mr. Pilot, could you please do it? You're pretty sure that if this is uh, this is not sturdy, but you're not quite ships, sure. Ships are your specialty, not mine. All right, what are we doing? What do, I, what do you need me to do? I was thinking of using a lat ship as shelter, one of the damn lat, lat ships. What are the more there? You see, you see a couple lat ships along with uh, with uh, separatist transport ships. Did you say something? Yeah, if I was cutting out, a little bit. We can barely hear. I you. mean, if there's a lat, we could probably I use mean, it as shelter. Nor you can Period. turn him up. Yeah, the my concern would be, you know, a lot of these crash landed. So let's. Not all of them would be. Uh... Well, yeah, I mean, we'll find one that's still got a roof. It's, it's a clone gunship. It's not allowed to fleet. Force race. Clone um, transport. Yeah, the clone ships. transport gunships. The, the ones with the big old doors on the side, and they had the the ball turrets. Yeah. And then the b big gigantic shoulder cannons. Yep. Even though it's. Usually a plane, so it doesn't have shoulders. But I say shoulder cannons, and everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I always thought them was like eye stalk cannons, because of how they stick out. Yeah. You mean the thrusters? No, they're. Uh... So I guess my my question is, what what am I actually needed for? Like finding one that's able to provide shelter shouldn't require any kind of. Or very much in the way of checks. I rolled a one, so I'm letting the pilot make, yeah, you're, make sure you're, that this thing is actually safe. Yeah, you couldn't tell. You're not quite sure if this is sturdy enough to, to make camp under. You never know if, they, if it will just collapse, which is a, which is tip of your finger uh, fingertip. Okay. <laughs> what, what's the roll? We have the big separatist warships crashed here. Well, I'm, I'm not good at survival. What? How about I roll technology? That might work, yeah. Does it still look Does structurally it sound? It seems structurally or... sound. You'd, you'd like to put a tap. Uh, uh, survive. Are, are you FYI. asking for about if there's a dreadnought? I'll kick it. Yeah, like the big... <laughs> you kick it. Warship. It tips slightly. The kind of mushroom-shaped one. But it doesn't fall, like... like really, wait, really stretched I made it tip by kicking it? <laughs> This thing weighs tons. <laughs> okay, it doesn't move. It doesn't move. It you just like move the the wing of it. That's about it. Specifically, though, the roof doesn't fall in. It doesn't fall in. It doesn't. It, it doesn't fall in. Nothing. Uh, nothing moved. 
It's dirty. All right, it should be good. Separatist. What, what, what did you say they're called again? Separatist what ships? Uh, they're, they're, they're their main warship during the Clone Wars. Uh, which, which group of people? Yeah, they're like the different... overhang. The Separatist. Right. The Separatist like, was a group of Lego multiple... Star, Lego Clone Wars. All right, I'm going to look up what they're actually called. Let's see. They're... Huh. So overall, they're called the the Confederate Fleet, or yeah, the, I'm sorry, Confederate Navy. If I remember correctly, those uh, those big ships with the large like a split, and they're very. Like a, they have a shell. Grammar those things. Uh, or dreadnought. Dreadnought. That was the Very word. Dirty. <laughs> dreadnought. I don't think I mean the Providence class one. Let's see. Because that was their primary dreadnought. But you said it looked like a mushroom. Very, very stretched out. Like the ones in episode one? Uh, Who rolled the nat one? I did. Was that for stealth? No, that's for survival. That's even worse. You rolled yeah, two nat one. ones. <laughs> in a row. Yeah. No, yeah, the first nat one was stealth. And then maybe maybe I also. should roll survival from now on. <laughs> I have one more on you than... My survival is the same, but same as yours, and I'm untrained. Yeah, I am trained. <laughs> yeah, I'm trained no, but I am trained three. in it. Look, yeah, so I have a plus pathetic. six in it. Are we talking like... the Luke? No, not the Luker Hulks. Those are the ones that look like. Can I help? Since I have survival at a really high number uh, at five. Uh, 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 Ronnie, Ronnie figured out that this the ship is sturdy enough to make camp in. Oh, okay. I yeah. kicked it. But it says technology. Rolled... <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's technology. Survival. I used my knowledge of technology to determine that the metal is still structurally sound. He used his his knowledge of yeah. ships. And then I kicked it. <laughs> See? Oh, your foot hurts a little bit, by the way. Your foot hurts a little bit. How did you get a nine? Yeah, your foot hurts a little bit, but the pain goes away easily. A bunch of lucre hawks. He, he's uh, now he's proficient in to it? that end. Or so you have a twenty and one at a time, people, one at a time, one at a time. How is it a nine? He's probably as uh, the nine in parentheses is what I add to my roll. Yeah, yeah. How do you have it that high? Expertise. Yeah, expertise. expertise. Uh, plus five. And oh, I see. I see. Yeah. And so he has an intelligence 20, 20, so he has a big brain. Uh, okay. I, I also add nine to piloting checks. Also, I can never have disadvantage on either of those checks. Both wings are gone, the engine right. shut, and know how to do it. <laughs> and and uh um hey, if you're in space, the wings are not necessary. As long as you've got yeah, maneuvering thrusters. And, and you're in the middle of a hurricane. That's if okay. you're in space have, and there's a hurricane, we've got a slightly different problem. <laughs> uh, now, anyways, though, um, but I still what I was saying, disadvantage. though, now that we know that the lat is structurally sound to camp in, can I get any of its systems up and running? You go go ahead inside. Such a big boom. Uh, when, when you go inside the ship, you have to like move aside one of the uh, one of the skeletons, one of the one of the remains of a clone trooper, to push it aside. You press a few buttons and nothing. Okay. Oh, it's I could get this years. thing working. Well, I'm just saying, the Millennium Falcon is like thousands of years old. If it still flies, yeah. this thing could fly. But it had consistent maintenance on yeah, it. Yeah. So yeah. Consistent maintenance. This, yeah. So this ship. Uh, it well, still had maintenance. This hasn't so, had maintenance yeah, for so this, 30 so years. This ship is basically just kind of like uh, bent in half. By the way, this not just hasn't had maintenance. It crashed during during the Clone Wars. And then later the Empire blew up the region. Yeah, but dirty bombs aren't going to hurt. 
yeah, a piece it's, of it's yeah, it's been a uh, part of it has a uh, part of the wing has been destroyed by uh, um, uh by what happened what happened during the Clone Wars, and then it's been okay. it's been pulverized by the Empire's bombings. Is this the only lat in this area? No, we've been seeing tons of them. Yeah, you you see uh, you right. see a couple you see several of them along with um uh, separatist ships. Okay. Androids. My character is not tired. Right. I've already been sleeping a lot. Um, Shouldn't you still be resting, though? No, 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 I'm good. The Millennium Falcon is um, about 70 years old uh, during this campaign. It was commissioned 60 BBY. Oh, so it's dead then. What? Isn't it dead? It's no, 70 no. years old. No, I'm talking about Han Solo's ship. Yeah, is it still alive? Yes. I mean, huh. for as much as a mechanical ship can be alive. Garbage I, I will do. I mean, like, is it even functional? Yeah. This, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so the garbage uh, will do. So this lat I just don't think it's funny that he replaced the uh, the primary cargo hold on it with land with a well, not landmines, space mines. Yeah. So this, so this. You never see it in the movies, but he's basically got a big ass chunk of bombs. In the front of the Millennium Falcon. Looking off track, so so this ship is uh, is is still it's actually it's actually solid enough for a for a camp, but it's not functional. It's uh, okay. the engine is, uh, has been shot out. Can I can I kind of like go through and see if I can find salvageable things? Yeah, I I'm gonna start going around. Like first first thing is I'm gonna go try to find a lat that. Has all of the like external parts. The wings are both there. That like, and I'm gonna start going from lat to lat, figuring out what does still work, what can be worked. My character is fully capable of working through the night. How to figure this thing out? How? Well, because you see, um, one of my uh, blue bitty blue abilities, uh, scholar abilities, lets me uh, pick a bunch of discoveries that give me various random bonuses and one of the ones I chose was running on fumes. What does it do? I, it basically cuts it cuts the amount of sleep I require in half. So you're still going to sleep a little bit but not yeah, a little as bit. much. I was saying I get four extra hours of doing stuff and I only woke up like a little bit ago. <laughs> uh, it, it, You've been awake for several hours. You've been traveling for several hours. Yes, but everyone else has been awake for longer. And was it a fight? Also, my I, when I say my character is looking for salvageable things, I'm talking about the lat we're sleeping in. Uh, like, go ahead and roll me a survival check. You guys are salvaging. Well, if she's searching just this lat, it would probably be an investigation. Yeah, well, I mean, investigation, yeah. Investigation. If it was searching all the lats. Meanwhile, oh, uh, yeah. Actually, survival for uh, for Ronnie, inv investigation not, for. Not technology. I'm trying to figure out what still works. Yeah, go ahead, roll me survival. Or like, like, uh, like sur to me, survival doesn't make sense because the lats don't blend in with the scenery. But you're yeah, but sometimes the game is like that, though. Um, yeah, technology for you. Technology for technology for Nate. Uh, for I'm just uh, saying, it's like finding the lats isn't the hard part. Yeah, it's like for instance, technology. intimidation uh -oh. is charisma, lost, not strength. Uh, I think I think he we was lost getting... somebody. Oh no, we lost. He might have gotten home. Lego, Lego. It was Lego. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he might have gotten home and is in switching to computer. Yeah. Computer. Yeah. Nineteen. Uh, dirty yeah. twenty. There we go. Okay. Yeah, he is right there. All right, all right. So, just for specification, what exactly are you looking for, um, Rose? I mean, I mean, Ashley. Uh, because I'm working on a little project. Um, it's like probably wires and cables and like parts I could use. Okay, um, you did find enough, uh, uh, so enough emergency su of supplies to repair the sh uh, uh, to, uh, to fix the, the ship now you could save it in the meantime. You figure that this could, uh, be used to, uh, to help with your, with your project. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, I can help uh, Nate on the whole research thing. I only need three hours of downtime. Maintenance so mode. We also we also need people to keep watch. Yeah. Okay. Though we're in the lat, we're covered from things falling, like rain or whatever. But we still, it's still wide open, also. So. Well, if we can get the 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 doors to shut, then you know we're we're covered there too. But like, still, I still think we should yeah. keep watch. Oh yeah. And I don't think we should maybe maybe close one door and leave one open because one of our one and potentially two of our our teammates is exploring the ash fields. All right. All right. As for all right, so uh, so I'll let uh. I'll let Deficit uh, know what his result is because he, um, I'm gonna take first watch. Yeah, you're gonna take first watch while while um, uh, Doc and um, uh, Ronnie look around for anything uh, useful from these ships. I t I'll take last watch. All right, hmm. when uh, for each of you when you fall uh, when you when you fall asleep. You had a little bit of trouble um, sleeping because it's been a hell of uh, it's been a hell of a day. I figured that would make it easier to sleep. <laughs> I will just say, um, I've slept in worse. I've slept in worse places. All right, welcome back, Nathan. I'll give him a bit. Oh, Jesse, you okay? I'm good. You, you look like you're tired. No, I'm good, man. I'm good. All right, so, uh, so, uh, Ronnie, you've been uh, assisted by uh, uh, by Doc, the B1 battle droid. Yeah. Doc only needs three hours of downtime. And so, um, yeah. So he goes up with you, searching for any, um, any what of what you hope is a salvageable, like not that salvageable, but workable, uh, lat. I mean, I'm just saying, if I have to, if I find a lat that is structurally intact, but has no engines or main computer, if I can find engines on other ones and main computer, like, I, I can, you know. Yeah, we can. We, we still have if a I can couple of things apart put together. We've got if those, I find the, the stuff, I can things. assess how much time it'll take to do something with it. What are you planning on doing with it? I mean, if it's hypothetically yeah, possible to rebuild one, it, since there seem to be a lot of them around here. Yeah. At the very least, we just needed to go <laughs> another probably 20 miles. We could get to our destination faster. Oh, and also oh, have hell, a even, even if I can, if I can rig up some kind of a like a, a hover skiff from the engines, like. Well, we already have hover pallets. And yeah, we have some crates with uh, grav lifts. And you have uh, mounts. Right, but I mean, how how many people and stuff can be on those hover pallets? Uh, they were yeah. what five feet by ten feet? What was it? Or like I, I'm saying, if like if we could take the if we find a lat that like and we can like affix yeah. the hover pallets to the bottom of like the the <laughs> floor of choose. the thing. And with engines, like I'm just saying, like the world's heaviest speeder bike. No, no, no. I was just thinking, like you know, if we can rig up one of those like desert skiffs, like not like Jabba's sail barge, but the little ones that were off on the side, throw everyone and all the equipment on it. Okay. I mean, obviously, I'd rather build the entire lat if I could, but you know, yeah. I mean, hey, if it speeds up our thing and gives us a gunship, I'd say that would be yeah. So while uh, while you look for uh, for a uh, for Rick one that is very that doing. Uh, Austin very much likes this plan. Does not know how to help other than keep watch. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that so, works. Uh, so while the 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 rest are at, are are rest at camp, uh, Ronnie, Doc, 
you're out of uh, looking for uh, looking for a uh, for a ship that, uh, that, that looks like it has an intact uh, engine. If, you, if there's something you, uh, you would like to say to one another, this is probably a good time. All oh, these ships always gave me so much trouble. Drive-bys and all that. Blew up a lot of us with these. Now I'm just picturing clone, like gangster clone troopers doing a drive-by. <laughs> I'm missing every shot. <laughs> <laughs> They're not clone troopers yet. Uh, stormtroopers. Storm. Are stormtroopers yet? Well, you see, that's how you get in. You miss every shot, and they're like, "You're hired." All right. <laughs> so, uh, so, oh, uh, Ronnie, what do you say to what? Oh, do, you, do you have anything to say to uh, what Doc says? So, how does a relic such as yourself come to be in possession of <laughs> medical knowledge? Ah. Uh. I mean, either so he or, or hey, hey, somebody saw Austria, the oldest ones here. <laughs> hey, oh. hey, it's, it's, uh, it's their moment now. Yeah. Uh, I was assigned to do repairs on various things that could be fixed. Uh, and when I got um, when we got stranded here, uh, I learned to fix people too. Sort of just trying to help. Nothing wrong with that. Just most most droids I encounter have no desire to go beyond their programming. Be right back. We be ones were so bare bones. It, there's not much to do when you're not a soldier in a war nobody's gonna win. So, do you still remember enough of these to know what parts are working and what parts aren't? Yeah, I've torn a few apart. Not with a blaster. That'll be <laughs> useful. I've only ever seen the inside of one of these in a museum. Yeah. I could probably, I can definitely help. When you spend 35 years, you learn how to take things apart and put it back together. <laughs> Did you know there are many places where you shouldn't put the spleen? All right, so 35 minus 9 is 26. Yeah, that, that tracks, kind of. Yeah, the first appearance of the uh, of the B1 Battle Droids are, yeah, are in episode 1, 32 years before episode uh, 4. So it kind of tracks. Yeah. And Ronnie, Karen, is, is Austri older? Who hmm? is Austri older than Doc? Or I look twenty-seven. Okay, yeah. So Doc's the oldest one here. No, this Nate's is sure. older. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I look twenty-seven. Yeah, basically that. That's the other talk we not as we know. Uh, question: yeah. It's been a while. Are the lats like insertion ships? Uh, or they, uh, do the they have to be not... deployed, or do they have to be deployed in Atmo? No, uh, no, uh, no they're they're, they're... They're... they can they can take off and land from from ground. They're the ones yeah. when you watched Clone Wars where they would come in. Well, it's been a while. I guess I'm, I'm saying in the yeah. Clone Wars cartoons, I don't remember if. Ships went into Atmo and then deployed them, yeah, or if they were deployed Atmo, from they, space, they're, they're aero sealed. Yeah. They're aero sealed. 
Yeah, they, they went they can from do both. space to being arrow sealed does not necessarily mean it can make re-entry what? or escape they can... velocity. They they, they are able to. Okay, that's that's what I wanted. I specifically movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first appearance of Ahsoka Tano. Yep. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah. And So do you want to attack check from both of us, or, or, or? Right. Uh, so yeah, yeah I, yeah, I but... rolled a fifteen on my finding parts. I don't know how much it, the it, um, is it is quite dark necessary. outside. There are so there are uh, uh, several ships uh, that were that are not in. I do like they're they're too bo- to, 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 too broken to be salvaged for uh, for engines. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're just trying to find something structurally sound right now, I think. Yep. I well, we've got structurally good. sound enough to be a camp. However, yeah. as just, uh, when, Wait, are we still not camped yet? Broke. I'm still no, no, yeah. We're, 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 we're just first looking. Wash right now. So, uh, so... Okay, who has first... I don't know what watch Cosm, I am. Cosm has first watch. Um, um, Osri called last watch, so I guess you get mid-watch. Okay. You, you and the Mando. Uh, so, um... Uh, uh oh, Nathan, Nathan's uh, camera froze again. <laughs> Give it a second. Uh, there we go. There so, go. so uh, Ronnie, Doc, okay. gonna, you do see one of the. Uh, you do see an Imperial Viper, uh, 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 an Imperial Pro, uh, out in the distance in the pale moonlight. What do you do? I'm not sure how many more times my rusty scarecrow are just gonna work. Yeah, it's it's a pro droid. <laughs> no, no, he's he's talking about how um he failed the stealth check for the first probe droid uh, uh, during the first session and then succeeded in making it think that it was that he was a scarecrow. Am I able to get a bead on it? I do have a focusing scope on my blaster rifle carbine. Yeah, you're able to see it, but it since it's but since it's it's kinda of in darkness, you probably have to stand on attacks. Unless you have some sort of dark vision. Also, if you shoot it, it definitely knows that we're here. Well, it knows that someone's here. Yeah, someone not Imperial. Imperials don't shoot at their own <laughs> probe droids. Yeah, but they wouldn't necessarily mean that we're not just some random scavengers. Well, Give me a second. I... I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm trying to check to see what the focusing scope actually... Like, if it, if it has any kind of dark vision... I mean, we took out a, we took out like two squads of troopers. Uh, focusing scope does. I'm looking it up. Okay, the the, the simple focus scope allows you to use bonus action to take aim at a target you, you can see. The next attack you can you make before the end of your next turn decides to suffer disadvantage due to being made at long range. Mm-hmm. Okay, so is it darkness or is it low, like dim light? Long. It's uh, despite the uh, the uh, I'm gonna say dim light because of the uh, light of the moon. Okay. Yeah, you said it glint. So then, the then spot. I can, then I won't have disadvantage for long range as long as I'm within range. Like, if it's within long range, and dim light doesn't impose disadvantage on attack rolls. Just perception checks. Yeah. I'll uh, up in the nearest scrap pile and slide down. I guess the next question is I know that I know that in uh, the video games and uh, the Empire Strikes Back, a single blaster shot's enough to take out a probe droid, but it but is is that the case in this game? Like would would I actually think that I could shoot it with one shot and deal with it or it would probably take a couple shots at not at least. Yeah. Then I'm not gonna. Yeah. Then I guess I'm just gonna try to avoid it. The two of you roll stealth. I'm not terrible at that. If you fail, 
roll deception. But sometimes the dice. Oh, no. <laughs> the dice don't care. Am I rolling still too? Yes. Does I mean, blind down in the nearest scrap pile work? <laughs> yeah. Uh, just just roll me a sound check. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Dive down. I got an eighteen this time. Alrighty. Nice. All right, Doc. You managed to hide in the. Uh... Uh, Doc, Doc just collapsed. Andy's here. Andy's gone. To be fair, this is a battlefield strewn about with clone troopers and battle droids. Alright, I'm gonna roll for it. It's perception check. What what do you say your self check was again? I got an 18. Alrighty, it did not see you. However, because you uh, uh however, Nathan, you're basically out in the open and it spots you. And, and you're and, wearing a Republic uniform. And you're wearing a Republic uniform. So it knows that you're here. What do you do? I mean, I'm, I'm wearing a flight suit. Yes. How, uh, would, it have, what... would it have insignia on it? Oh, what's my rank? Um. Isn't the Rebels just they all have the insignia on it? No, no, uh, New Republic. This is this is New Republic. New Republic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would say you're probably a sergeant. No, um, you don't, don't have a bunch of leadership thing, so you're pilots still tend to be officer ranks. Yeah, you're you're, you're in the officer rank, so yeah, you're. So so recognize your Ixnemia and it starts beeping and like and that sort of thing. And starts to and it starts to fire at you. All right. Well, um, I guess we're rolling initiative then. Yep. Uh, give me a moment to set up this uh, this little battle map. Good thing I got this. Uh, uh, good thing I got the. Uh, uh... All right. All right. For simplicity's sake, I'm gonna put uh, put uh, put the four of you into the corner here. God damn it! What's that for? No, no it's just it's just You're you. It's just it's just one. Doc. No, and... we would all roll. We would all roll initiative since we're all you're, here. Yeah, you're, since are we also, being and I'm, woken up? I mean, it's firing blasters, and that's not quiet. Nope. You can hear also... in the distance. Okay, so then, oh, so then wait, and why wouldn't I'd be wait, 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 anyway. wait, 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 wait? Why wouldn't yeah. blasters be quiet? La lasers don't make noise. They're not lasers. not lasers. They're it's blasters. Plasma. It's plasma. Pla Plasma. I don't think plasma makes noise either. Okay, and so re it's really the so cooling what, unit that makes the noise. So yeah, is what happens is a blaster, <clears throat> a blaster fires an energy pulse through superheated tabana gas, which then ignites and is propelled at like ninety miles per hour. About, I think it was so, like, not not like. Like at subsonic yeah. velocities. That's why you can see them traveling. That's why force users can react to them, and that's what Cloud City was mining in, on you know Bespin was Tabana gas. It's blaster gas. Yeah, basically you mine bullets. <laughs> uh huh. Twenty. And as cool as that one video where it showed it being done as a bunch of mini lasers. Shooting into a crystal, which then fires the plasma. No, that's not how it works. That's closer to how a lightsaber works. All right. I would love to check this out, but I don't care. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just take what you say. Wait, why are we typing twenty-two and two twenty-three? I, mean, my initiative was twenty-two as well, but my birds got crap in my thing. So when I press enter, it added a three to it. Okay. And dice. Ooh, I, have a... I keep Roll rolling ones. One D twenty <laughs> plus three. Oh. Oh no. Twenty-three! Yay! I'm first this time. Nice. And asleep. I mean uh, uh, uh. you're 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 first in initiative, but I mean I'm pretty sure everyone who's not there is surprised. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so oh so um, uh, do you want me to make a perception roll to see if I saw the yeah, um, you're do quite I, a bit of, bit, bit of like, bunch of meters away, so... Um, do I need to click yeah, on a token, or am I just rolling initiative blind? Roll initiative, uh, roll initiative. I'll, I'll just add that turn. 14. Okay. 14. 
Oh, I'm just seeing rocks. Anyway, since I was taking watch, do you want me to roll perception to see? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Nord. Yeah. Since I was keeping watch, do you want me to roll perception? Yes. Go, go right okay. ahead. Everybody. Uh. I don't... So we're surprised. Are you but, yeah. What I just roll? Okay. 13. Yeah, but as long as you make us up, it should just be a neutral round. Um, is that enough to see the droid? It's enough to hear oh, the, the blaster the, fire. The, you hear, you hear well, the blaster fire. I'm awake. I'm gonna hear the blaster fire. I'm seeing if because if I if that's enough oh. to see the droid, I would have woken everyone up. Oh yeah. That um, so is around, that enough to you, see you, it before look, it, before you, it was firing? You, you, so were we not supposed to roll initiative? I'm so confused. No, we you were. even though we're asleep, we still roll initiative. Yeah. In case you get tossed in. Yeah. So so is a thirteen high enough to see? Um, I'm tr I'm trying to think. It's it's very brief, but you but you did kind of see it. it the, the direction is very the direction and uh, uh thing is very vague. Okay, well, but I know it's there. It, you, yeah. Well, no, I'm not gonna wait till it shoots to wake everyone up. I'm gonna wake everyone up now. All right, I'm gonna roll. So, by the time speed. it shoots, you two are you two are gonna be awake. Hey, what a dirty so no twenty! Surprise round. The droid, droid goes forth. <laughs> so who's getting woken up? All of Everybody. Us. Okay. Mari just... and Jaden are being woken up. Okay, right, so I'm going to skip. Uh, so it's going to take you a few turns to get there. What? Why would it? It, like I said, about uh, about hundred about uh, about hundred kilometers to get to uh, get to the, to the thing. I think um, you might want to drop what? the word kilo yeah. from the first part of I mean, that. I mean, I mean, yeah. see that far. Yeah, uh, about a hundred kilometers. Yeah. It's not even a hundred kilometers to where we need to go. It, about, a, <laughs> about a hundred meters. About a hundred meters, yeah. Good lord. Okay. okay. Uh, that that still you... means that, I... that three of cheap, us though. can still whack it with melee weapons because of our speeds. Yeah. I can um, 100 close meters, the distance feet. about... How much... Moves until you do I have? What? Oh, no, yeah, duh, you're right. That's 300 feet. Uh, yeesh. 330 feet, yeah. Approximately. I can go pretty fast, but I need no, to know. No, no. For some I was thinking... I can, it, though. I was thinking 100 feet. Now, you... You, you could... It'd be it's too light to scoot around. around. Yeah. It's gonna be like two It's 328 rounds. feet, so... I can go... How fast? I think it's 120 feet. 120. You, what? What? What's your speed? I can't remember. I don't know. You keep telling me something different, so I get confused. You said it was 50 and Same 40. Same feet, because all of our stuff is in feet. Yeah, I, I don't know why he's saying meters. Yeah, I said I don't know why he's... because Star Wars is done in meters usually. I... Well, yeah, but like this is measured in feet. This game. I, I already told you all what it is. It's 328 yeah. feet. Which yeah. means like seven turns for everyone to get there. Why are you all so oh. far away from us? The learning uh, speed is actually t is actually only 25. What the fuck? I thought it was higher. Yeah, it's 328. No, oh, God. That. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just going to say 50 meters. Oh. oh, that's right. Yeah. Nor did it override that to 30. Because oh. yeah. that, yeah. that's, that's keeping with Tasha's where... Yeah. 164. Ooh, I can I can close that easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, Mordor Canyon, Mordor Canyon. So you're close. Yeah. So I'm gonna say 50 meters. See, As a player, the... I'm asking Nord, can you please stay in feet? Because I can't calculate that in my head. Okay. When it comes to, to feet, when it, is... when it comes to my spells and like range attacks, I cannot do that on the fly. All right, I'm gonna say, I'm feet. gonna say you're about uh, 120 feet away. But that's not true. It's 164 feet according to 50 meters. Yeah. I'm, okay. Um. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say 30 meters. It's about 100 feet. Just for simple, just so you can get in, in combat in time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I can just get there then. I don't even. Man. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, the game's running for you. As fun as it is, you you do have to. I mean, understand you want to stick in meters and stuff because that's Star Wars, but this system is in feet, and some of us can't calculate that in our heads. Just yeah, but multiply by three. Already, it's it's not it. going to happen, Nathan. Okay. Not but, with me. All right. Anyway, so oh, okay, so you're about a hundred feet away from, you're a hundred feet away. If you if you dash and get in there, you can get there in about a round or two. So, what do you want? I can to just do? get there. <laughs> See, see now that we're so close, like I feel like, how did we have this whole conversation? I'm just putting it there yeah. for uh, for convenience sake. So, what do you want to do? Uh, so, Cabot, uh, Mara, you're you're up first. You're about you're about a hundred a uh, hundred feet away. What do you want to do? I'm looking up what you use to take a dash. That's action. Is it a bonus action? Action. action. For, oh, for it's you, an action, action action. Okay. And you have bonus a bonus action, action thing to give you more from... movement speed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did well, my I get times four, so yeah. So how would you describe your rolling thing? Uh, so do you like roll like Sonic or what? Yes. Yeah, no, we went over that. She yep. she she rolls like Sonic. You roll across the uh, like Ash like Ash like fl uh, 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 fl uh, uh, flying around you as you like like dash across the field. Yes. I just to have roll. A perfectly straight so line. the Lerman roll. <laughs> Did you see it? I am still not. I'm still trying to. It's adorable. It's adorable and deadly. <laughs> Absolutely. It's literally called rolling agility. <laughs> you can run on all fours or curl into a ball to move quickly along oh, yeah, the ground. So yeah, you got there just in time with your dash. Yeah, yeah as I'll you, just as use a bonus say, action to shoot him in the face. Um, let me check. You use your, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and, and make an attack roll. Okay, so... Rolling. Wait. Okay, this doesn't... This isn't accurate? I'm gonna How say... Many? What? I'm going to say, uh, how far away is the What's the range of your weapon? It's a blaster. What's the range? It is a hold-up blaster plus one. It ranged 30 to 120. All right, so okay. I'm going to say, uh, right around right here, you basically just, like, roll right in front of the, uh, right in front of Doc and, uh, and Ronnie, and you start firing. Roll an yeah. attack. Shoot it with my tail. Okay, that's a plus six. There's so much extra space on the light. You personally do. Okay, okay, game. Be mean. I understand. Yeah, you tried to aim, but your but it was way off. As the, as the bullet just like flies off. The boss the bullet just like to the right of the uh, of the probe droid. The probe droid is just there, floating, gliding, or something. Yes. Would that be your turn? Would that Look, be I'm just pretending to be one of your stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all I can do. I used my action and my 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 dash. I I use my action and bonus action. All I can do is reaction, but I don't. You didn't do anything to make me use my reaction. Alrighty. Uh, Astri, your turn. Yeah. It's the turn, it's the turn order updated for everybody else. Oh my gosh, I've been muted. I've been trying to say, um, <laughs> what, what, what did you use your bonus action for? Just shoot him. Okay, you could have shot him twice. I can? You said I only get to shoot once because I don't have... Yeah, you, uh, she used her no, dash. It... She used she used her dash. Did she, did she dash or did she roll? Because the roll is only part of a movement. It's not an action. She dashed and rolled. Oh, dash and rolled? Yeah. Well, how far away was I? Like about a hundred feet. So I'm, like, I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah. I'm just like putting it like this for simplicity's sake. So. 
So how far did I have to go? Yeah, sure. It's it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I can only I can't do it twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're ju- you could if you wanted to take disadvantage on both shots. Anyway, so would that be so? Um, let's get this rolling. Ah, uh, she already did. <laughs> I know. So, uh, uh, Astra, your turn. You're you're about like a hundred feet away, excluding uh, including the uh, mostly including the uh, the battle map thing. So you're about like um, like about seventy, well, uh, like thirty feet off the map. There's so much extra space on this map. I don't know why. Thirty. Don't get shoved us all in the corner. <laughs> So, um, I guess I'm gonna go to work, and when so I'm back I'm... for my shift, I'll be back for my initiative order, right? Thirty. I'm thirty feet away from where my character is right now yes. on the on the map. Okay. Well, I I have thirty five feet of movement, so I'm just gonna move my character up one. <laughs> um. And I've already rolled my wisdom saving throw for using this ability that my character hates, but realizes it's this is not a good thing for this probe to notice us. So um, that was an eighteen on the die plus four. The twenty three so, hit. No, that wasn't to roll. To hit that was a wisdom saving throw for myself. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Right. What what power are you using? What? I'm using my cantrip shock. All it right. has a. It's my only thing that is long range. Yeah. Desperation. And oh, desperation. And out of desperation, I and the knowing that these things are bad. Um. I'm gonna fry it. I am going to shock it, and I rolled my wisdom saving throw already. Um, it was eighteen plus four. Yeah, you make it, and and you feel if you th- you feel the anger rushing uh, rushing to you, but you you think of your training, of your Jedi training, trust in the Force. The anger rising up as 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 in a reflex, oh. lightning shoots out from your hand. Hit. Roll roll uh. and tack roll. Make an I, attack. That's a that's a sixteen on the die plus six, so that hits twenty two. No, yes, whatever. Uh, she got twenty two. Des- two desperation, fear, anger. You feel all these negative things when you see all, all these when you see yeah, more of these like this. I uh, get waking up from a sleep and I have nightmares about this. So, um, that's seven points of lightning damage. All right, seven points of uh, it, it stutters, but it but it's still it's still moving. I mean, I w- I'm not assuming that I get it with one, but. It, you feel, you, know, you feel your spirit shaken, but able to resist its pull for now. Oh, cool. Your spirit was shaken, but not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it, but I wasn't going to say it. I always expect him to say something like that. Uh, what did what did uh, Cassie, what did uh, Chayden roll, by the way? Uh, actually, I didn't roll because I, I thought I was too far away at the time. No, you're about like 100 feet away. To, uh, ex- uh, incl- so you're, you're about like 30, uh, 30 feet off the map. Mm. What'd you all? To be fair, we shrunk that distance down a lot. Okay. Okay, hang on. Let me go. Let me get my token. Yeah, your token's like at the at the top right. Uh, at top, top left. Top left. Dad cleared like 10 feet away from mine. There we go. Hang on. I have a 20 initiative right there. Okay, uh... I'm gonna have to dash. That's the issue. So it's gonna be, uh, 60 it... feet dead. Doc, also my, the same as my initiative? Doc rolled a 22. Yeah. I should, yeah. yeah. 
He should be going. He should be going next. Yeah. Would that be your turn, um, Astri? Um. Uh, it's my action. What the fuck? The garbage uh, is shooting me. I think that's all I can do at the moment. I'm ready. Oh no! I'm going to. I will pull out my dagger and I will Im um, imbue it with the force. That's a bonus action. That's a bonus action. Yes. Okay. It's like it's basically shillelagh. I know. It's shillelagh with <laughs> but force. Everybody, that, shillelagh that's but space magic. But the, the, space that's magic. what I have. To, that's what I have to do Is that spear blade? No. Spear no, blade. No, no. No, no, uh, yeah. it's force imbuement. That's the name of the force power for this. Force um, imbuement, oh. it, it changes Ow. attack to uh, your casting modifier. And you're doing a d8. And it yeah. does, it changes the a damage die to a d8, no matter what weapon you're using. Uh, by the way, oh, um, Ashley, mine turns it into a d10. I forgot to ask you this, but what was your dark yeah, side? No, spirit, spirit Blade is basically. You're summoning the. Uh, I don't understand why that is light side when it does necrotic damage, but you know, whatever. I don't. Yeah, no, I had the same mm. like yeah. way, mm. but it's probably yeah. because no you're using that. the force to attack someone's life force. That's not necessarily a dark side action. If you're just smacking someone with it, draining it is probably dark side. But just smacking someone with the force right. Right to them. That's probably not dark side. Yeah. Um. So I forgot to ask really you this be before. Uh, what was your dark side uh, score? Just curious. Because I have no idea. You know what that means? Uh, it's yeah. Not, like it's, I, I literally don't know what that means. You yeah. never told me to. It's like to evil things you've done. Out. What counts as an evil thing? Like, yeah. have I killed anyone? No. Are uh, you a murder hole? <laughs> yeah, you have. Yeah. Okay, have I killed anyone that matters? <laughs> we're like, going we're to some very to... weird <laughs> territory here. I never Strong punched a tourist. Don't matter. Exactly. I never punched a tourist that didn't deserve it. <laughs> Look, they were trying to kill me first. It's self-defense. Hey, it's a stormtrooper. They always try to kill you, even if they're on like one HP. Yeah. So. Yeah, so your dark side, so your dark side score is is a is a theme from like older T twenty versions of Star Wars, um, where if it were if you're go if you're uh, like like uh, so so like it increases if you do if you do outright evil actions or use the dark side uh, of the Force stuff like that. The uh, right. the, uh, the higher you go, the less uh, the less effective you are at light side powers, but more effective at dark side powers, and the more evil you are, of course, and. Once you hit, uh, once you hit the uh, full, which is which the max is equal to you. Connor, head. yeah. Nord. Anya has been trying I to I said, why? Well, how while. about we wait until after game so we don't I... take forever on this? Yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I got, I, I got, I got way out of track. I'm sorry. The dark side okay. counter seems okay. like something you should do in game by your choices, not something you just make up on the spot. That. Uh, oh, there's rules. Yeah, I, I actually said rules before. We're, 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 we'll talk about it after game. Yeah, apologies. Okay. I thought I'd discuss this with everyone. So anyway, um, so Doc, it's your turn. My dark side power doesn't require me to make a roll. Uh, Doc, it's your turn. Doc, hello. Lego. I've been muted. Ah. Uh, whoops. Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. Like the cat's already out of the bag. Why not? You're you're, you're in stealth mode. You're, you're hidden. You have uh, it does not see you. You can have a, uh, an advantage on your attack, but if you do so, you will re re reveal yourself. I'm just picturing like that that bit with um, Bugs Bunny when he's leaning, when he's like slouching that couch in the cowboy outfit, and he just suddenly moves his wrist, pulls up the, the pulls up his revolver and shoots. I'm just picturing that, but it's you know a B1 battle droid in junk <laughs> just suddenly just barely moves his wrist to fire actually I wanted to run over here 
So either I'm going to pop out from underneath this guy from the junk, or the junk springs to life and runs up to him. Oh, wait, you're next to the droid? <laughs> I wanted to move next to him, yes? Oh my gosh. It makes me think uh, the Avatar The Last Airbender when Toph kicks down the, the door and then uses it as armor. <laughs> How terrifying <laughs> that must have been. <laughs> no idea what you're yeah. talking about. But we're not playing Avatar, we're playing Star Wars. We should probably focus on that. Anyway, uh... The garbage attacks. <laughs> I, um... Okay, uh, anyway. Uh, tech attack, minor defeat relation, prepare for lightning damage. It, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh, I think it sends a see, sends a sight, right, it's lion sight, you're within its lion sight, so it will see you. Yeah, it'll take a <laughs> stealth roll to get up to him. That being seen. Just swimming through the garbage. <laughs> I'll be fair, and it'll just, I'll just like move it right here, just for convenience sake. So it's like, so it's, you're not in, in its line of sight. You're like next to it. So go ahead and make your melee attack roll with advantage. First, first I saw, first I saw a Republic pilot, and then a monkey started shooting at me, and then the garbage attacked. <laughs> Yeah. This guy's gonna. This guy's gonna so, so very weird report. This, this I had to do a lot of ex explanations. Of, so yeah, I saw this like this new Republic droid, and then there's, there's this weird Lerman thing, just like trying to fire at it, and then suddenly Gowers just popped out and attacked it. Uh, Twenty-two. Hey, oh, and someone shot lightning at me, like 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 Daddy Palpatine and. Because that's not a word that should ever be used with Palpatine's daddy. <laughs> 22. Okay, 22 hits. Oh my god. Six lightning damage. Six lightning damage? Yeah, it... What? It, it, it does its normal amount. Yeah, I don't have eye on. Yeah. I think I'd be too scared to have an eye on dealing power. <laughs> You're, so you and Nasty were just like zap in it. <laughs> zap, 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 zap. The idea is fry the systems. <laughs> fry the tapes. Fry the tapes. Fry the comms. I mean, I couldn't do this, man. No, I can't. <laughs> okay, would that be your turn? It, and uh, I, you rise from, from the pilot's chunk. And you and you like jab it with this shocking thing. Would oh no, it's my hands. I have defibrillators. Defib, yeah, defib. <laughs> so yeah, so instead of writing, uh, rubbing paddles together, you just rubbing your palms together like hoo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be like Andor, but goofy, uh, but goofy, like a goofier version of Andor. Anyway, would that be your turn? Um, yeah. Jaden, it's your turn. I don't think I have a bonus. Okay, so I'm um, 100 feet away from the, stup from the stupid uh, scout door, right? Yeah, you're and 30 feet, about 30 feet off the map. What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know. my question. <laughs> oh, that's a dog outside. Okay. I'm gonna go check on that dog. I'm going to dash, so that's 60 feet, so I'm about, uh... 30 feet off screen, 30 feet in. Yeah, 30 feet so. in, so... Okay, so I'm going to say... 25, okay, five, okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, looks good. And and I still don't. I st don't have a lot of sun on the on the moon. You you're yep. yeah. You can you can probably reach up. Let me check the distance. Uh, you're about fifty feet away. My guns have an effective range of one hundred and twenty. So. Yep. So I'm pulling out my heavy pistol. I'm taking aim. 
And I'm super slim, bitch. Alright, go ahead and roll attack. Uh, that's a 14 to hit. That hits. Two damage. Oh, that was bad. Well. Dude, that was bad. You were not, not doing very good on the. Uh... Yeah, you nicked it with your blaster. Damage. Would that be your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, it is now the droid's turn. The probe droid. And it. And it is going this to. This might have been a poor decision. Yeah, and it is going to attack. It is going to attack uh, you, Doc, with disadvantage. I'm good. <laughs> as, 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 these things are usually only equipped with, like, right, with little it, blasters. Admit, it shoots to the ground. Yep. Huh. Still startled by the garbage attacking. <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> Alright, Ronnie, it's life. now your turn. Oh, goody. I guess I'm gonna shoot it. Oh boy, here you go, Keelan again. Make an attack roll. Yeah. Wait, what's it what's the short range distance on it, by the way? That's a good question. It's a carbine. I don't have anything to use my bonus action on, so if I'm not in range, I'll just take aim with my focus scope. Carbine's got seventy to two eighty. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm in range. Yep, you're in range. <laughs> I haven't actually made an attack for it yet. My bad. I want to uh, shoot this thing in the Efficiency is two, so that's... That's a nice voice. That's a nice English voice. Hmm? Uh, that's a nice scene voice. 18 hits. Oh, oh, thank you. What's the damage on a blaster carbine? Uh, D6, look, I believe. D6? D6 plus the jack starting modifier. Yeah. Good cycle, all right. Ooh, nine, nice. All right, you blast it. You blast a part of it, like part of its like head off, and it starts to spark, like chitter, and it starts like babbling nonsense. What What is it saying? It uh, self destruct activated. Okay. Are you? Uh oh. All right, would that be your turn? Uh, yeah. Cosmic, it's now your turn. She's gonna fall. All I did shout that, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Cosm, are you there? He went to go check on Doug. I, and then I forgot to unmute myself. Um, uh, all right, so I get to move an extra ten feet. You can roll again with the with the van, with the uh, roll thing the thing again with advantage. Oh yeah. Oops. Okay, so an extra fifteen feet. So I guess that puts me up there. Yeah, uh, burst of speed. Uh, yeah, you feel a burst of speed as you as you enter the fray. Actually, let me check the range on one of my things real quick. Don't. That's Discord, not the PDF file. There we go. Yeah. The range. Oh, cool. So I don't actually have to be a ruler. Okay, so I'm actually going to do this from behind. I do this from over here, and then um, I'm going to yoink Doc. Um. 
I'm going to say over the comm that he and I have, because you said last session that you said that we had one. Yeah. Um, when, when he said, does that, uh, Gotham tells him, I'm pulling you out of there. And then I do that. Alrighty. Um... And he can move 30 feet. Luckily, it doesn't have any melee attacks, so no opportunity attacks. It has any melee weapons, I mean. So I'll just go flying back over here. Yep. And then I do the rest of my movement. Okay, so let's see. to here. And then another. What was that thingy? Then, yeah, and then I'm gonna dash to. Oh, wait, no, I already did my action. I can't dash. Uh, I think that's everything I can do. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, once again, hiding the fact that I can use the force. Why does it think. What the. What the. Why does it think there's only like there's. Uh, there's. Uh, there's. Only three of you on the, on the thing? Because, because there's us, garbage, you know. spitty monkey, shooty pilot, guy that's apparently invisible to droids. And I'm, 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 I'm reloading. I'm fixing this. It still says three. What the hell? Because you didn't add us into the init into the initiative, into tracker. initiative tracker. You just were calling out who was next. Yep. You know, I just thought it was bugged. Anyway, hang on. I'm, like, fixing it right now. Hmm. Doc had a 22 as well. And I had a 23. Yep. Uh, natural, the one natural 20 I didn't even really want. But would have preferred it on a shot. But, you know, that's, that's how D&D &D is. It's like, you got a natural 20. <gasps> on initiative. Aww. <laughs> Unless you're a rogue. What would you when you get a nat twenty on initiative, but you're the healer? Aww. Well, actually, for for me, that's actually not that bad because yeah. I can uh, give y'all ten pit points. Yeah, <laughs> I can do that too. But I wanted to shoot it. All right, all right. Yeah. Mara, I mean, nobody's there... gotten hurt yet, so does force barrier stack with what? With ten pit points. Um, what does force barrier is do? It, is it... it increases tar each target's hit point maximum by five. Oh yeah, three. no, they stack. It is eight, eight, eight hours. And, yeah, eight because they're not temporary hit points. You literally have new max hit points. They are hit points. Yeah, and it heals them for five. Yeah. How, how often can I do it? It lasts for eight hours. I should be casting this every time we sleep. <laughs> okay, I, I already Just cast Battle Precog when I sleep so that I'm always, I am always have it up. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I would have casted that every time, too. That That's your th that's your mage armor, right? Yep. Yeah. That way I have 16 AC instead of 13. Wait, that costs two. So that costs 14. 15 left. Okay. Oh, this cost thing is really weird and hard to understand. It's just level plus one. Why does at will abilities cost force, though? They're supposed they to be don't. at will. No, they don't. They don't. So there's, no, so there's nothing that costs one. Correct. Yeah. Well, there's Weird. abilities that do. Like the Sentinel um, gets da, 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 force empowered self, where we can uh, increase our armor class, um, do extra damage, or move faster, and that costs one. Yeah. No. Okay. Anyway, so what do you want to do, Mara? 
Mara, Cabot. We're back. Oh, up the order. I forgot. I, I realized you were talking to me. That's right. I'm Mara Bitey. Okay. Well, since it is my turn now, is this just one thing? Yep. yep. And it's one about metal. to explode. It's gonna yep. what? It's about it's to gonna explode. explode. It's, almost, it's almost dead. Oh, okay. Well, it did initiate a self-destruct sequence. Oh. So. Well, that's not very nice. I'm gonna shoot it then. Eight plus six. Because luckily, I understand. Fifteen, 15. hits. Roll one d. So do I. We can talk to each other. Well, Wait, what what is it? You can understand me when I saw oh. when I saw, when I talk in binary. Okay, so now at this point, it's which characters don't speak binary? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh wait, it doesn't have any languages. It just speaks. But yeah, I'm just gonna let this one slide. You said it was chittering, which is binary usually. Eight, Most eight, two. It is like it is. It is barely like you shot off one of his limbs and just barely staying afloat. Shoot okay. it again. I'm shooting again. Okay. Seventeen. 17. Yeah. yeah, seventeen hits. And, and it's it's not ooh, ooh. it's just four this time because you don't add your modifier twice. Oh yeah. Uh, not without a. Unless you get dual wielding. Yeah, yep. dual wielding. Yeah, you shot it again with your uh, with your other gun. Pew! It is on the verge of of uh, destruction. Would that be your turn? Oh uh, yeah, that's all I can do. All I have left is a reaction, but I can't do anything with that till you shoot me. Okay, go. Okay, um, Astri, your turn. Okay. Um. Alright. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a melee character, so give me a second. <laughs> Um, let's see. Ah, we, need to get, we need to get you like some grenades or something. I need a, I need some, I, I can, I can talk about it later. Yeah. Part of the reason um, why I brought up the, uh, the dark side, uh, the main reason is for the benefit of the viewers. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, until I... Can after like tomorrow or something we can calculate that because I have no idea what you're talking. About. Yeah, Apolo uh, yeah. apologies. We all know that Mara has like negative ten dark side points. Yeah, you. I'll bet you have zero dark side. Uh, your dark side score is zero. Custom's already done some bad shit. He's a gorilla fighter. So I'm not like killing anyone, but I am kind of a little gremlin when it comes to fixing machines. I'm gonna use a force point. And well, two, two um, phase step, which increases my walking speed. Um, walking speed uh, it gives me thirty more feet. Mm -hmm. um, so that moves my speed from thirty-five to sixty-five. Oh, is it double or thirty? It 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 increases it by thirty. Oh, okay. Um, so Woo! I can get right up to it. And, um... Yes, just barely. <laughs> if you spend another force point to get the extra uh, D4 times 5 feet, you can run up, smack it, and then run away. Nah, don't worry about that. Just kill it. It's going to explode. <laughs> Not if you kill it. That doesn't... Hopefully. <laughs> She's using a lightsaber. In in the in the in the show when they use a lightsaber, they don't explode, they just melt and fall in pieces. And I uh, just she's, like last she's using time. A dagger. Well, oh, well, well, oh, well, she's bone then. Just just like last time I pulled Well, I use shock, so it's obvious I can use the force already. So yeah, Cosm's the only one that knows you have a lightsaber. And, and so does Jaden. So does Jaden. 
Oh yeah, well, I, don't, J- J- I don't the, know. The... Yeah, Jaden saw yeah. it, and you saw it, but no one else saw it. Um... We all have a pretty good idea, though. <laughs> I, I mean... Sorry, kind of hard um... to hide the guy cut in half. <laughs> Yeah, they're looking yeah. to be like. What do you? Um, what do you can punch through plastic steel. <laughs> um. So I, just like last time, I'll pull out my saber, and like basically do the same thing. I'll, as I turn it on, I'll attack it. Um, and I do have advantage because of face step. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Let's yeah, do. Like, go right ahead. Let's see oh, this. That was so close to a natural 20. Um, there's a 19 on the die. That hits. Um, plus. Um, a yeah, pu- plus a bunch. Plus five. Um, so that hits. Um, and so I'm rolling 2d8 because face F also adds an extra d8 of force. Good lord. Yeah. You're like the tank of the group. No, uh-huh. not the tank, but but the DPS. <laughs> What's the name of the power? What? Face. Step. Face step. Face step. Face step. Face step. Oh, right. Face step. Like, like... Uh, once before your power ends, you I'm gain good. advantage on one weapon attack. <laughs> the attack deals an extra D8 of force damage on a hit. And um, whenever... And then, yeah. Okay. Wait, you uh, so, you teleport up to 30 oh. feet to unoccupied space that you can see as a bonus action, and face strike is a... Oh! Bonus Wait, action. Wait, okay, face strike is... I think, I think, stuff. hold on, I think, I think I'm mixing oh, up. Oh, okay, face strike, it's face strike, it's face strike. Oh, face strike, so that's the end, so when I hit... Okay, so, I'm still doing the face strike. Yeah, but now... Oh, and, until you until it ends, now the only thing it does is it your movement does not provoke opportunity attacks. Hey, okay, hold on. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Phase strike right here. This is yeah. I, I hold on. I may not be able to do this. Hold on. <laughs> Um, yeah, I rolled max, um, Slow time so I could move. Yeah. Um. I guess. Um, I didn't say that. I guess I will. Um. Cause I did. I didn't do the dagger. So I'm throw. I'll throw that instead of pull out my um. Pull out my before instead of pulling out my lightsaber. I'll I'll throw my vibro da- vibro dagger. Um, which it still hits because my first roll was 19. Gotcha. I'll say um, that counts. I'll, I'll say that the throwing at the dagger counts, so go ahead and roll damage. Um, that's a, it's 2d8 points of damage. It's still 2d8 points of damage. <laughs> um, <laughs> with it, yeah, 2d8 with advantage. Doing 1d8. Oh. Just so oh, okay. you're dead? Well, oh. well, we didn't slice it up with your lightsaber, so it's going to explode. Yeah, it does D8 slashing plus D8 uh, force. Well, you know, I'm full plus HP. I'm sure I'll survive. Four. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, you're 30 feet away. Eight. Oh, it doesn't do the math right. It can't. Oh, that's gross. 
I was gonna do the math right. Math's just fine. No, it's not. What? It doesn't do angular. What does angular mean? Okay, so if you were to go directly angular from this square, that's twelve points of damage. Okay, as you throw your dagger, it starts it starts uh, twitching and sputtering until it explodes. Uh, because if you didn't use a lightsaber oh, to slash it into two, that happens. I, I don't also... have a range on my dagger or on my lightsaber, so you know what? It's just gonna happen. It's also, yeah. You still have okay. thirty feet of movement that you could use to be out of the. Yeah, but, uh, be, oh, that's right. Yeah, be, uh, and uh, be, and before it explodes, I would like you to roll. Oh, and as it explodes, as you, before you move away, I would well, like you to roll a dex save. Can I just? Can I like throw it? And then, as, like, right after I throw it, I, like, move back, because I'm using my face strike. That is, and That does make sense, actually. My yeah. slow time. I'm going to say roll with the advantage, and regardless of, uh, and you take, and you would, and would take half the damage on a, fail, and a on a failed save, and and fourth, and, and a fraction of the damage on a successful save. Dex save with the advantage. Eighteen. Eighteen makes it, and, and as and, and as you like her back away, time slowing down around you. You uh, as the as the uh, as the door explodes behind you. Cool, dude. Look at explosions. You do that thingy where they walk away and then it explodes. <laughs> And you take <laughs> to me. I walk put on away the to everybody else. You and take you five points of fire damage. You have damage. to put on the shades. And, and okay. you take and you take five points of fire damage. What's the radius? Twenty feet. Oh ha, good. I'm good. Yeah. Ha! You're a loser. Not thirty feet. Damn it. Like it's, why are you it's, saying damn it? I don't want to get shit hit. No, no. Like, okay, no. I, I'm annoyed I that like, it's not doing the the hypot. It's not doing the hypotenuse dip. It's uh, not. 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10. Look, it does it the way it does it. We just accept it. So, um, everybody Brady. just sees me kind of no. pat off some fire. <laughs> like, somewhere, I like, it explodes and all of a sudden you hear me patting on. Uh, I have the perfect mean for that. I have the perfect mean. Second. I have the perfect mean. Everybody, everybody. Chill out, uh, Luke, uh, shoulder. Huh? Check out the memes and jokes, uh, uh channel. <laughs> Can't just run, just, just loot like Luke. Just, uh. just like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go this way. You kind of like tap off some, uh, a bit of, uh, a bit of like a bit of like flames, like. It's like ah. <laughs> My ass is on fire. <laughs> And then I'm like, I just kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, yay! Now we go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, no, yes. now we let's, have to leave. Let's not talk about anything that happened. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> sleep. I was sleeping. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so Doc, so you, uh, Ronnie, what have you found out? What have you been able to find? I have no idea. What have I been able to find? You haven't been able to find an engine that's uh, that seems to be functional um, to your liking. I mean, apparently, I only walked a hundred feet away, so I, I couldn't have found that much. Does Fibro Dagger count as a saber? No, sabers are specifically the plasma weapons. Um, oh, I go and grab my dagger. Dang it, I need to get myself a lightsaber. Well, you so grab I can your actually dagger use that and spell. you take a look at it and it, the blade has been shattered. But it was imbued yeah. with the force. It was a magical weapon at the at the time. Technically, magical weapons only have resistance to damage, not immunity. It's fine. I have. I literally have two of them. It's just a regular dagger, right? It's not a big deal. It's a viable dagger. I'm pretty sure that a lot of these, 
you know, clone troopers have daggers. I have two vibro daggers. I could just yeah. Give you I one. have I have two I have two vibro daggers myself. So I oh, just I thought I, it, uh, it was for some reason I thought that your daggers were like plus one or some shit. Oh no, it was um, force imbuement doesn't make it a plus. Oh no, I've I've uses, got that too. But like I don't. I. No, they're they're just uh. standard vibro weapons. So, I don't know why I lost so much credit. Because hmm. you made Buying both your stuff? blasters plus one. Yeah, but I had a lot of credits before that. Oh, after which, that. wait. What, what's your dexterity? It must have been the mechanic. It must have been the mechanical thingy. The mechanical kit is probably the mechanical kit. A lot of my credits went to that. That thing costs an arm and a leg. But yeah, so you're more alert, but you are, but uh, but the rest of the night is uneventful. The next day, the next day, you set out, leaving behind the air, uh, the the act. Wait, did I, uh, Jesse? Are you there? Rat. What the vet? Sleep. Okay, so, yeah. okay, making sure it looks like you were, you were dozing off. My apologies. Uh, so, so you set off, and hold up, Nord. Yeah. I've been muted this whole time again. Nate, <laughs> Nate and Doc were looking through stuff for after that for hours. So they don't yeah. find anything useful. Do they yeah. find a um, a ship gonna... that could eventually be workable? Like there, there yeah. was. I was they gonna did stuff afterwards. There's there's all manner of stuff that we could hypothetically. Yeah, even Thanks. like, even like parts, like, hmm. you know, like if there's like a we'll working navigational computer that could be put into something else later. These these ships had, these ships had missiles, so it's even possible if some of them have any unexploded ordnance. There, there's like grand. all manner of things that we could hypothetically have found, even if we didn't find one that could be repaired and working. <laughs> Without like a garage. All right, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would ask if you right. want to, Nord, you can say, hey, we can talk about it after games so we don't have to spend yeah. a whole bunch of time on it. That's fair. But, I like, think... you say, you find stuff. Well, that's also uh, another thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll quickly answer the question after this, after this session, I hope. Um, I and also, um... Uh, so, so the night turns to day. Um, you wake up eating your rations. Well, eating a day's worth of your rations, I mean. So you would have nine days uh, left, uh, nine days worth of rations left instead of ten days worth. Mark that on your carriage sheet. You you quickly pack up and you get moving. Um, once more, you still see that strange bird up ahead. And you're out of the battle. Yeah, you're out of the battle. The good one, the green one. The green one, yeah. The oh, green white one. You're. It, it takes you several hours to uh, to track, to go out out of this ruined battlefield to what seems to be, you know, uh, to what seems to be like a bit of a, a city up ahead with with spiring, uh, a few spiring towers, uh, a wall surrounding it, and smoke billowing out of it. Is that our destination? Is there supposed to be smoke billowing out of it? No. Okay. This is this is Voska, and it seems to be under attack. Oh no! That should be nice if we had a lat right about now. Nope. <laughs> what? Can you imagine the any Imperials in there just shitting themselves as a fucking lat comes in, <laughs> and then like it sounds like a dying engine as it comes in, and, and we just. Going for a landing and just drop the last like three feet. Yeah, and you hear. <laughs> and then the missiles go off, <laughs> and you hear the familiar speech of a few Tie Fires as you, uh, like flying overhead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe this would be a good uh, spot to end the session today. How was it, everybody? I hope I rolled all the ones I'm gonna roll for a long time. <laughs>
I missed my yeah, shot. Yeah, you, you you were sending out. Like, but a then I of, hit my shot. Yeah, yeah you were I'm you happy. like standing on a bit of a like a bit of a, a like a, a top of a hill down to his <laughs> to a sloped uh, path, leading to the uh, to, to, to the town, which is like surrounded by a wall, a few spiraling tower, a few towers, along with like some ramshackle shacks made from like various ship ports. Um, and yeah, it's uh, there's folks being out of it. It's on, uh, it looks to be under attack as like you, as you hear like tie fires. <laughs> I probably imitated the, uh, uh, the the sounds of the TIE Fighter. I need to put up some soundboards. <laughs> so yeah, the session is over. How was it? <laughs> How was it, everybody? How was the session? Again, I apologize for uh, for not for, uh, for not uh, like asking up too soon about the Dark Side score thing. Partially because it's for the benefit of the uh, viewer. As I hope you understand. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be sure to ask you if about about your dark side scores after the session launch site, whatever now you found any supplies. So I hope you'll have fun. Or else. <sighs> that was a fun session. I had fun. So uh we're we're gonna see who we're who we're raiding. Not Raiden, like from a uh, water combat or uh Raiding. I'm I'm joking. I'm joking. I know. We're gonna be raiding uh Gab uh, Gabby Patty uh oh, never mind. She's offline. Kidding. Mm. Alright, we're gonna be we're gonna be raiding Ray Geeks. It looks like they are or yeah, looks like Ray Geeks is, is streaming Borders Great uh Borders Gate three. So we'll be uh, giving them Nord raid. We'll see you hopefully next week. Uh, we uh, hopefully next week for more Star Wars and Sunday for more D and D. So have a good day, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.